Yo people, welcome back to the YouTube channel. You already know what time it is. It's time for another watch along Chelsea versus Fulham. The lineups will be with you in just a moment. Um, do not fear, they're currently being done. Um, I'm very much excited for this team. Obviously, you guys would have, if you've checked Twitter, you would have seen what's going on anyway. I haven't actually seen the full lineup, so I'll still be surprised when I see it. Um, but yes, enjoying, enjoying. I see some of you have seen um the the cameo it appears for <laughs> uh best of enemies yes it was a madness the 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 intro was very very difficult to film it took a long time but it was worth it man the 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 intro is nuts on that on that episode unbelievable um and i love doing stuff like that it's very fun so yeah i've really enjoyed it i hope you guys enjoyed it as well um and i had to you know i had to say something after what you know, after what happened when we were sanctioned and we were going through a rough time and we didn't have any money, the Barclays cards weren't, you know, they weren't working. They were, you know, people, people were losing their jobs. People were losing their jobs. We were, we were losing stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Man, them not really. They don't really realize how how much in the gutter we actually were. They they think it was a banter thing. This club was in some serious mess. Obviously, we we got out of it in the end. We got our owner, and you know it was looking a bit unstable. So I wasn't gonna let that slide. Do you know what I mean, we had to respond. Um, and uh, yeah, the the intro was 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 brilliant. I'm I'm loving the way that it came out now. Like I said, the lineups are going to be with you in just a second. Um, big game, W settings only, people. We already know where it is. Um, listen, there's 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 no other way to put it. I know Fulham are a very good team. I know they got their own strengths. They got their own. But listen, no one no one wants to hear any of that. You saw what happened on the big six. No one cares, and and rightly so. You can understand why no one cares. We've 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 done a madness. Let's be real. We've done an absolute madness. We brought in a whole heap of new players. We almost have a whole new starting eleven if you was to include. The Nkuku's and the Gustos were obviously still out on loan. But if you were to bring them in, it's, it's basically a whole new 11. You've got a right back. You've got, you know, you've got so many things going on here. Um, and it is about time that we we delivered and we started playing, you know, we started playing well and we actually started winning some games. Um, I'm going to go through before lineups, right? Because lineups are coming. So I'm going to go through our fixtures. Um, it is one game at a time, 100%. I'm going to go through our, our, our fixtures as well, just, just so we know what, what's up ahead, ahead ahead of us so we can, can we can take this. Obviously, it's Fulham here in this London derby. Then we've got another London derby against West Ham. And then we've got Dortmund. And Dortmund's going to be Dortmund's going to be a madness. That's a whole different ball game. Then you've got Southampton, you've got Tottenham, you've got Leeds, you've got Leicester, you've got Everton, you've got Villa, you've got Wolves. And then it gets a bit mad towards the end. And you know those difficult away trips to City, to United, to, to Arsenal, etc. But a lot of people looking from the outside and, and a lot of people even on the inside are, are, are expecting, yo, let's let's get a move on now. This, this is time to to put together some wins. It's time to actually go on a little bit of a of a run. 40 points, 100%. I want them 40 points like, like crack. Do you know what I'm saying? I want them 40 points. I'm so serious about them 40 points. But in, in, in serious matters, of course, that is not the issue. We're, we will get our 40 points, you know, but we do need to, we do need to start putting some respect back on our names and putting ourselves above above certain teams in this table. And, and this is one of the teams. We need to get West London back under control. It's the first thing we got to do. It's the first thing we have to do is get London back under, get West London in particular back, back under control. Once we've done that, then um, then we go go from there. Um, so yeah, let me go through um, Super Chat. Six pointer today. I mean, we lost, we lost the first game away from home. Williams scored. It was a nightmare. I, I remember watching that game. I was absolutely fuming because we were let in such bait. I, I actually think I flipped on that watch along because there was basics, the bare basics, like letting William cut in on his on his right foot. It's just unacceptable. It's just something that you just don't do, especially when you know the player. Like, I'm already getting wound up just thinking about it. So we need to actually respond to the fact that we lost at Craven Cottage and we need to win today, 100%. Um, it is one game at a time, but we need to win today. Um, that's from Midway. Um this super chat, big up bro. The intro on DL was fire, proper jokes. Yeah, man, it was mad. I'm obviously always checking on, on that show. You guys are all watching it. So it was good to be on it for once. And um, yeah, it was insane, man. It was just wild. I was not expecting to, to, to get into a fight. <laughs> it's a proper workout, man. I was tired after that. Do you know what I mean? I was not expecting to get into a fight. I was not expecting to get into a rough and tumble. But at the end of the day, Things happen, do you know what I'm saying? And when 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 X squares up to you, you have to get up and, and get involved, do you know what I mean? And I was just like, yo, I'm gonna try and pick pick this guy up if I if I have to, do you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> so it's a madness. But yeah, the intro was nuts. I thought it would be funny to actually cough on the um old cigar moment as well, considering that everybody always tries to smoke it in the coolest fashion. I thought, let me, let me, let me cough, man. That's what a real nerd would do. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't really smoke at all. I don't really smoke. I don't smoke at all, and I don't smoke cigars at all either. I think that's the first time I even smoked a cigar. So I thought, let me, let me, um, let me cough, man. It seems realistic. It seems like something I would do. Um, the amount of times, by the way, I had to smoke that cigar was nuts. You don't understand the retakes, people. The amount of retakes that we had to do just to make sure the shot was perfect. I had to smoke that cigar so many times. It was insane. Um, lineups are coming in just a few minutes. Do not worry. Um, actually, I've got them right now. Not to worry. Here they are. Okay, so let's get these lineups on screen. <clears throat> right. Let's do this. So these are the lineups <clears throat> on screen. First time I'm seeing them as well. So we're going to get straight into it. Um, this is going to be very interesting. Super chat as well saying FIFA for not al allowing a back at Barcelona. F FIFA for not allowing a Bamiang back at Barcelona. Listen, we're going to talk about a Bamiang. We're going to talk about the Champions League squad. We're going to talk about all of these things very, very soon in terms of who is available who's not, who's going, who's not. 
and obviously all that talk. But we're going to go through the lineups first. Obviously, Kepper in goal, James, Thiago Silva, uh, Badi Ashile, uh, Kukurea, Enzo, Gallagher in a double pivot, it seems, um, in a 4 2 3 1. Ziesch. To be fair, Ziesch does deserve to play. He does deserve to start. He's been really good recently. I thought maybe his head's not going to be quite in it um, in, in terms of the whole PSG thing at the end of the transfer window. Maybe he's going to be really down. So I wasn't really sure whether he... But he's he was smiling in training and he deserves and he's in there and he's playing in his favourite position. So there you go. Hopefully it's not a self-sabotage thing like you're saying it is. Listen, I'm sure it won't be. I know that performance in Zagreb was a bit wild, but I'm hoping that it'll be fine. Um, then you've got Mount playing again. Personally, I feel like he could have been taken out for a little bit of a breather um, out of the limelight, but he's back in there again. Hope for a proper performance. Mudrick. Um, left wing and Kai Havertz as well. I think he scored in his last home game. Now it's time to score, hopefully, again. He, he almost scored against Liverpool, obviously, ruled out offside. So, again, hopefully he can he can keep this going. Now, for Fulham, the main threats for me, Mitrovic, of course, up front. You've got to keep an eye on him. We didn't even play against Mitrovic in the first game. If you'll remember, he was suspended. We didn't play against him. Um, I watched him against Tottenham. First half, they were actually pretty toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but they just... They, they, they were very clear in what they were trying to do. They get the ball out wide, they cross it into Mitrovic, they go up for those headers um, and, they, and they try to get up to him as soon as possible because he is the main threat. And he is a handful. He's a massive handful. But I'm hoping, I'm, I'm expecting, to be honest, not hoping. No, no, we, we don't do hope. Hope is for, for yesterday. Hope is for, for last week. We're now expecting, right? This is a must-win game. I am expecting this defence to handle their business, this defence to keep a clean sheet. And we're gonna handle business. That's what we need to do today. So yes, Mitrovic needs to be rock. He needs to be. He needs to be laced up. We need to change this mentality now. Let's let's W settings only game by game. I need Mitrovic to be dealt with. Badi Shile, deal with it. Silver, deal with it. Do you know what I'm saying? You can beat him aerially. Hopefully, Badi Shile very good with his aerial duels. Silver very intelligent. Let's roll. Now, let's talk. Um, obviously, Williams in there. Pierre is in there. Um, Reed, Divocco Reed is in there as well. We've spoken about him before. We've just played Fulham not so long ago. So we're basically just regurgitating the same stuff when we talk about this team and they beat us. So we know exactly what we're up against. Reese James starting. Anybody else got a little bit of PTSD going on here? Because I'm a slightly worried about this. I'm not going to lie, ladies and gentlemen. Reese James starting is kind of it's kind of making me a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I need this guy. In bubble wrap, I need him looked after. I swear, if this man comes off injured again today, I'm going to, my whole heart and soul will be on the floor. It will be through the floorboards. I need this guy. I need this guy to stay fit. So I don't know what the plan is. It feels like we're rushing him. I would have had Trevor at right back personally, but I'm not a medic. I'm not a doctor. All I know is that I am extra, extra cautious. I am extra got the PTSD. I got the worries. I got the, the I got it all. Heebie-jeebies. I got everything. And I would be so, 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 so cautious, overly cautious. I would rather be overly cautious with, with James than, than risky because that's just where I'm at right now. But he starts. I don't know how many minutes he's going to play. We'll have to see. But um, <laughs> I swear, if anything goes wrong, <laughs> I'm going to be fuming. So please, can we look after this guy? If he's got to come off at half time, I don't know. Please just do not get injured again. OK, so here we are because I'm hurting right now. Um. Do my feet still hurt after wearing X's shoes? Yeah, he's like a size 10 or 10 and a half, and I'm a size 11. Um, so it was, a, it was a bit of a squeeze, but, you know, the character needed it. So it is what it is. Do you know what I mean? We do it for the content. Um, so he starts. That's a big thing yeah, out of the lineup. That's a massive thing. Enzo Fernandez starts. That's a big deal. That's a big deal, people, right? Because what that, that work permit, it got through. That work permit got through. 4 p.m. deadline, it was done. No problems. No issues in the team. I'm excited. Now, that Gallagher relationship, let's talk about it, right? That Gallagher relationship, because the back five is, is self-explanatory, obviously, apart from Reese James. But that pivot partnership in, in, in the midfield, Gallagher is not the, the deeper player. We know in terms of build-up play, he's not the strongest, receiving the ball in certain areas when pressed, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm expecting Enzo to get very much, very much involved in, and, you know, dominate that first phase play. Kind of like a McAllister or a Brighton or Jorginho, have you will. He's going to be huge in that aspect. Um, and he's going to be the guy that leads the first phase. He's the one that takes it off the centre-backs. He's the one that takes the responsibility. 
he's the one that plays the long passes um, and he's great at playing long passes. So I hope to see some wonderful long passes today from Enzo Fernandez. Gallagher is not a sitting midfielder. Gallagher is not a holding midfielder. Gallagher is a box-to-box -box midfielder or a pressing 10, if you want to call it that. Um, but he's not a ball holding midfielder. So he's going to be, in my opinion, more advanced, especially when we're in possession. I don't expect him to be deeper than Enzo at all. Now, off the ball, different conversation. Um, he's going to have to obviously help and defend, and I'm sure he will. He's going to have to win those tackles, win those duels, cover the ground. And that's something that he can do, right? But I'm not a fan of him playing in, in that in that part of the pitch um, because of the build-up. Like I said, I just don't feel like he's 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 that guy. Um, and it does, you know, limit us in some aspects in terms of our play. But we have injuries. I was hoping for Loftus cheek, but he can't play a full 90, so I can't I can't even get annoyed. I think we're gonna go to that bench in a minute and we're gonna see that he's not even there. So do you know what I'm saying? He, he 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 maybe is not even available to even play. He's not fit. Um, but I knew he wasn't fit for a full 90. Trevor Chaloba maybe could have been in there if you wanted to be defensive, if you wanted to be super cautious with the balance of it. But he's on the bench as well. Asper is on the bench. Uh, Chilwell, good to see him back on the bench um, and looked after, you know, at least someone. <laughs> Kulabali, Carney, Fafana, um, Madueki and Sterling. And no Abamyang, not even in the squad. Um, and we're going to talk about Abamyang, obviously, because he was left out of the Champions League group, but not even in the squad for um, for Chelsea. So that's mad. Right. So let's discuss. Um, that we've, we've spoken about the midfield. It's a little bit of a, of a dodgy situation, but it is where it is. Um, not, not to my liking, but again, we've got injuries. So I'm not even going to go too insane about it. Um, you could have maybe gone with a Lewis Hall, but again, he struggled against Liverpool in that midfield. It was a little bit of a pressure cooker moment for him. And he's not even on the bench as well, Lewis Hall. Um, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm pretty sure he was fit going into this game. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, people. I'm pretty sure he was fit. So I'm not too sure if I've missed something there on Lewis Hall. Let me know on Lewis Hall and um, Loftus-Cheek if I'm missing something in terms of their fitness um, and their availability, what's going on there. Is there any sort of update? Has Potter said anything? Um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, those, those, those midfield situations are, are going to solve themselves on the pitch. Let's see what happens. There's a lot of responsibility for Enzo. He obviously doesn't speak English because Potter's had a translator. So I'm not sure how the Gallagher-Enzo communication is going to go in terms of, you know, making sure people are in the right areas. You're going to have to work together as a team, but there's no communication between them two. I don't know, I don't know if um, if Gallagher knows Spanish or if someone said on, on Twitter, I don't know if Gallagher knows Argentine. Someone on Twitter thought, I think he was trolling. He said, you know, do any of our players know, Ar know Argentine? <laughs> I don't think Gallagher knows Argentine. I don't think he does. So we're taking a, a gamble here with, this, with the whole communication speech thing. But here's what it is. Um, big up. Glad you enjoyed Best of Enemies. Um, I know it's Spanish. I know. I'm just saying it on, um, on Twitter. That's what they were calling it. I think they were taking the piss. Um, right, man, not going to lie. The Best of Enemies intro was one of the funniest things I've seen in a while. Keep up the good word. Let's get this W. I appreciate it. I'm glad you enjoyed all for your entertainment. Um, and it was also, I felt like I was representing you guys in that room because... You all saw the first clip. You all saw what they were doing outside, um, trying to collect their shillings and dollars and whatnot. So I felt like we needed to clap back as a fan base. And I think we've done that now. Now they're, now they're angry. Um, so yes, Enzo goes in there. Also, um, actually, funnily enough, the reason why I'm a bit all over the place is because I've come back from Stamford Bridge um, just to get a little bit of a taste and a, and a scent of the pre-match atmosphere. And I have to say, Stamford Bridge, I just come from there. Like I said, the place is absolutely buzzing. I went there because I wanted to get um, names on the back of the shirt. I've decided I'm going to get Enzo, obviously, and I'm going to get Jao Felix, obviously. Um, even though he's a lone player, I'm buzzing to have him. So he's going on the back of the shirt, home and away. And I'll hang those up um, and then we'll have something for the studio, something new um, to see in the background of the videos. I've gone with Champions League as well um, because I feel like that's the competition that we're actually, you know, really competing in maybe so i've decided to go with champions league branding and and really push push these two and i'm glad they're both in the squad um so mudrick starts his first start he had a really good cameo obviously against liverpool when he came on so buzzing with that um ziesh like we've spoke, spoken about already definitely deserves um and you know have a couple of goals well a goal at home hopefully can build off that back-to-back -back home games and mount listen Got to perform, got to perform. But for me personally, it would have been nice to see him taken out for once, given a break. But again, Jao Felix is suspended. So maybe not not so easy for Potter to do. But I, I would have maybe 
I would have I would have liked to see Carney in there, maybe. But again, you know, came on against Liverpool again, a bit rough around the edges. So it is what it is. Um, the bench, plenty of excitement there, plenty of talent there. Um, so even if we have to change the game, we have no problems there. We've actually got quite a few players coming back to fitness. Fofana as well is now in training, which is great to see. Um, out of contention, but in training, um, as a, as are a few others as well. So we know we have a big squad. But you know, at this point, we're so unlucky with injuries. You see this big squad, we might not have a problem. You know, I don't. Is anybody ever going to be fully fit? Are we ever going to have a fully fit team at the same time? I highly doubt it. Probably not. So, you know, we we'll probably will be fine. Do you know what I mean? We'll probably, on average, we're going to have about eight players injured at one at one time or another. Unfortunately, so we'll probably we'll probably be all right. Um, let's talk about the Champions League um, uh, squad that was announced. Um, everybody was talking about. First of all, I got pranked and, and and dragged by Sky Sports because they had an FFP expert come on. And I was in a rush that day, right? Because obviously when you're content creating, you, you, crazy enough, if you're doing so many shows, you don't actually have time to go through everything. So you're, you're looking for little shortcuts here and there so you can you can actually get, get your, your stuff done. So I was on the TL and I saw Sky Sports talking. I was like, oh, great. You know, you guys are talking about FFP. You've got FFP expert in, talking about Champions League and what we can register and what we can't. And I was like, I trust, I trust Sky. I trust Sky Sports. I've been on there before. They're bringing on an FFP expert. Everything's looking dandy. Yeah, I'm going to listen to this and, and I'm going to run with it. I know a lot of people have been saying that there's going to be issues, but I'm like, you know what? This guy knows what he's talking about. He's an expert. Hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. These lot come with the most goobity gobbity garbage. And it's funny because I actually recorded without that information and moved on with my life. But I said, you know what? Let me insert that because so these idiots got it wrong. Made me look foolish now because me got it wrong. I Google it like five minutes later. I see, bro. This shit is this shit is completely false. Like it's took me two seconds. I should have just googled that shit. Why why rely on Sky Sports? I googled that thing in two seconds. It was very clear what the what the rules were, what was gonna happen. We couldn't do this, we couldn't do that. You know, we we couldn't throw them in B list because they 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 have to be playing for the club for two years. Would well, it took me two seconds? But bro, my mum was trying to mum was trying to skate by to that that day. It was like, it was a long day. It was a long day. I was like, bro, Sky Sports. No, can't handle can't handle it. So it is what it is. Um, so Mudrick is in. Enzo is in. Um, <laughs> Mudrick is in. Enzo is. It's funny because everybody was quote tweeting saying all these Twitter experts think they know what they're talking about. Look at this FFP expert. He said what it is. Funny. Um, so Enzo Fernandez is in. Mudrick is in, and Jao Felix is in. Now, for the sake of entertainment and the beautiful game, this is the perfect scenario. Of course, it is very harsh on Badi Ashile, but 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 he's young. You know, he's young. It's not like he's like kind of accustomed to regular Champions League football. He'll survive, you know, he'll he'll hold that, as they say. And of course, Koulibaly probably does need some minutes somewhere or another. Um, now, it would have been great to have him in there because he's been really good since he's come in and I'm, we're going to miss him for sure. Koulibaly's going to have to step up massively. He's had a few Champions League errors anyway as it is. Um, it would have been great to see him because we definitely want him starting over Koulibaly as he's starting right now. But we can't have him all. Can't have him all, unfortunately. But it's great to see Felix in there. For me, Felix had to be in there the more I thought about it, the Felix had to be in there. I know Felix is not a permanent transfer, but if we want to make him permanent, um, probably best to give him Champions League football because um, considering we probably won't be in it next year. Maybe we won't be in it next year, but, uh, you know, maybe we might do the unthinkable and win win it. But, you know, realistically, we might not be in it. So, yeah, it's, it's a shame for some players missing out. Now, a lot of people were saying that you could have just taken out Bettinelli and thrown in a uh, goalkeeper from the PL2 team in the B list, and then you wouldn't have had to take out Aubameyang, which is true. So it was a big decision from Potter to take out Aubameyang. Um, and some people will say, well, you're taking him out. Are you blaming him for not scoring enough goals? We haven't created enough chances, etc., etc." But the way I see it is, is two different two different um, points that I'd like to make. The first point is, is that clearly up until this point, he has not been that impressed with Aubameyang, right? He's dropped him. He's brought him on and taken him straight off. Um, so there's clearly some sort of information that is being relayed to him maybe that he is not following through maybe he's not training hard enough this is all conspiracy i do not know i do not go to cobham i have no idea but the manager and the player are not seeing eye to eye he's definitely not a fan a fan favorite and he's not a manager favorite right he's only just coming from arsenal or from barcelona former arsenal player tattoo etc he was a stopgap but he was a stopgap under tuchel potter didn't bring him in yeah potter didn't bring him in so my thing is is that I'm, I'm not going to be complaining now that Potter's making bold decisions. I want him 
to be ruthless. I want him to assert his dominance on this team. I want him to say, listen, I am the manager. I'm going to outlast some of you guys. I am the long-term manager. I have got the, the, the contract. I'm the one that is calling the shots here, not you. And if you're not going to play the way I need you to play, if you're not suited to the long-term vision and I didn't bring you in, which he didn't, then it's time to go. And that's why, you know, you don't want hiring and firing and buying players for, you know, a manager that you're not sure you're going to keep because then this happens, right? Now, of course, we'll feel sorry for Aubameyang. It's unfortunate. He hasn't done anything wrong that we know of, right? Nothing's personal, right? Nothing's personal. But if we want Potter to put together a system and a style of play that is consistent and he's building, then he needs players that fit within that, that he trusts, that he wants to work with. So he can't go from Kai Havertz and Fafana pressing from the front one game and then Aubameyang's not pressing from the front the other game because if that's what he wants from a stylistic system standpoint, then he needs to be consistent with that with the team game in, game out. If you want players to follow what you want them to do, you need to set a clear style and standard from game to game. You can change tactics in terms of formations and approach, and all, but you but you want to set a, 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 a clear way of playing, etc. You know, you, you want to make that consistent. What we don't want to see from this manager is we're, we're defensive against Manchester United at home, counter-attacking. Then we're trying to keep the ball in one game and we're holding possession. Then we're doing this, then we're doing that. I and mean, there's no consistency from game to game. We're trying to see if we can put together some sort of style and some sort of consistency with the team, build some sort of chemistry, some sort of relationships, etc. So if he doesn't want a Bamiyang, which, which is pretty obvious that he wouldn't, right? Of course he doesn't want him. It's, it's kind of obvious. He didn't bring him in. He's not the type of player that he would usually be working with. And also... He's of the wrong age because this is a long term and we're, we're, he's a short term. He's a stopgap. So for me, I ain't got a problem with it. And it's harsh, but life is harsh sometimes. You know, how many times have you been at work and you feel like, you know, you can offer something here, but somebody sees a different role for you or doesn't think you can offer that or think somebody else will offer more? This is real life. This is this is this is the world of work. This is your job. It's not always going to be swimming. It's not, it's not going to go swimmingly all the time. It's not always going to be perfect. So you're going to have to affirm that. You're, growing, you're a grown adult. So it's, it is what it is. We act like as if, you know, missing out on the Champions League squad is, is like as if somebody has, has taken, you know, your salary and, and halved it without your permission. Like, yeah, it's unfortunate. You're not going to be in the squad. Okay. You're going to have to hold that. You're going to have to deal with that. Like, it's not personal. It, 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 these are the decisions that have to be made. And I think he knows he's not here long term as well. So we can't ask for ruthlessness and ask for a manager to, um, and, and, and you can say that and I'll address that in a minute, but you're saying my judgment might be clouded. I, I didn't want the manager to be sacked a couple of weeks ago when that conversation started for this very reason. I want the manager to have the players that he wants to get the cleanse and to have a fresh squad that is actually from a mentality standpoint ready to rumble and move into a position where we're competing for titles again. Not a squad that is clinging on to top four, that is very wishy-washy with their commitment, whether they like the manager or they don't, or this come, you know, all of this kind of stuff and the mentality and the question of the quality, et cetera, and, and, and what this team can really do. The limitations that the team has had over the last three, four years. Aubameyang being one of those players for me that is limited, right? You know my stance. Yes, I didn't want him in the first place. I wanted a striker that could be involved in more than just the finished final touch that can be involved in the build-up, that can press from the front, a Gabriel Jesus, etc. right? You're seeing the modern-day striker at the moment contributing to their teams in more ways than just goals. And it's funnily enough, when teams have added strikers into their teams, number nines, they've actually been struggling uh, this, this season, right? You're seeing a lot of players that are not the most prolific, but they're actually bringing so much other facets to the game in terms of their team and their system that they're still thriving. Man United don't have a world-class striker. They've been pretty consistent this season, or at least they've been gradually improving. Arsenal don't have a world-class striker and, and you can keep going on and on and on. I'm not saying that you, you can't do well with a world-class striker, no. But Aubameyang's not world-class, nor does he offer enough off the ball or in terms of possession-based football, in terms of being able to dribble. He can't dribble. Being able to receive the ball in the tight spaces and can't do that, you know, in terms of the build-up play. He's not going to get involved. Is he going to, you know, press? No. So he's not world-class at one thing, like a Haaland, and he's not world-class at the other thing. So I'm not really going to cry. Of course I'm not. You know, I, I've seen Chelsea have elite world-class strikers. You know, I'm not going to cry of, over a Bamiyang. I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. So, yeah, you could say that, but I'm, but I'm also sticking to the point of I want the manager to make decisions. I want the manager to take ownership of this team to make sure that he doesn't be too nice. People watch his press conferences and they say, "Oh, the manager looks too nice. He doesn't have any doesn't have any 
Pinakoswa. He doesn't have any vavavum. He doesn't have any source to him, right? So he doesn't have any say on transfers. That's what the rivals have been running with. So now that he says something and he does something and he makes a decision, now people want to get onto him. It doesn't make sense. You got to pick and shoot. You got to pick one or pick the other. Do you know what I mean? You can't. You can't say that the manager is weak and the manager doesn't make decisions and the manager is too nice and too cuddly. And then when he does make a decision for a player that market value wise, let's be honest, is not going to command much in the summer. Doesn't have a massive market for him, I'm sure. Barcelona are interested, but they couldn't get it done legally. Um, so for me, they're probably just trying to say, listen, you're really not involved. We really are going to try and force you out. It's not fair, but it is what it is. And it's understandable because maybe they feel like it's just not going to command much money in the future. So for me, I'm not too bothered with it. I'm not going to lie. We need to be a little bit more ruthless. We do need to um, get this team into shape very quickly. We do need to have a clear out. And the quicker that gets done, unfortunately, for, for some individuals, the better. Um, and they are going to fall by the wayside. But, you know, this is this is, this is is elite sports, man. This is what happens. Um, OK, man, I see you in the suit in DR, the villain. Yes, you done your thing on Best of Enemies, bro. Yes, yes. We had to. We had to. We had to. We had to respond 100%. Um, it's not a bold decision. How? I mean, was never his player. It is a bold decision because look at the amount of noise that has been created around it on, on social media, on Twitter. He's, I mean, the way everybody's reporting it, right, is how could you leave him out? He was really good against AC Milan. You don't have many strikers. He's one of the most senior players. You're saying it's not bold, but the reason why I disagree with you is because everybody knows the kind of character that Aubameyang is. He's a very personable player. He's quite a, you know, he's quite a, um, quite the character in terms of behind the scenes. A lot of players gravitate to Aubameyang. We saw that at Arsenal. So for you to leave a player that could potentially be quite popular already, who knows, behind the scenes, makes friends very easily. He's very, you know, he's not, he's not an introvert for sure. It is a bold decision to leave him out, 100%. That's a senior player. That's a, that's a senior player. It's not bold to leave Fafana out. It's very easy to do that. He's young. He hasn't, you know, kicked a ball in champs. He's fine. But to leave Aubameyang out is certainly a bold move. It's definitely a, a headline story. It's definitely something that people are like, whoa, how could, how could you do that? Um... No, absolutely not. So that 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 is just so simple. Um, there's no way in 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 God's hell. So no, as simple as that. Um, I could not be more no on that. It's not what the club needs at all. That's a problem for Manchester United at the moment. Um, so for me, buzzing. Um, absolutely buzzing for this game. Can't wait. Um, and it's going to be very interesting to see how we play, man. Today is a very important moment for us because remember when we spoke about all you can eat Chelsea, um, we want to. I, I personally said, listen, okay, we've got a gap here. There's a no FA. There's no FA Cup game. We've got a couple of weeks to train. We've got a couple, a couple of uh, weeks to work with the players. Let's see if we can see something a little bit more clear, some more clarity when we come back in terms of you know some consistency in how we're going to play, how we're approaching games, and actually trying to beat teams and and. Now we've signed all these players as well. I expect a chance creation. I've been banging on about chance creation, haven't I? Chance creation, everybody has. Chance creation, chance creation, chance creation. And when rivals, you know, when we speak to the rivals on other panels, Big Six, etc., they say, where's your striker? You can't finish. You know, that's the narrative a lot of the time. And that's what we thought it was as well when we signed Lukaku. But then we learned very quickly that we, we actually don't create enough chances for our forwards. Um, and Aubameyang has been, uh, uh, you know, he suffered because of that as well. Let's Let's be completely honest. He would have... He has not got enough chances this season in terms of opportunities to convert. But that's the reason why I didn't want him, right? It's because we don't create enough chances for strikers. So we need to maybe have forwards that help create their own chances or help with the chance creation that actually become part of the solution, not dying because of the problem that already exists. So I look forward to now, um, I look forward to now seeing a bit more chance creation. Um, I, I look forward to now seeing Enzo's passing range. I look forward to seeing... Mudrik taking on players, going past players like we saw against Liverpool. Um, Ziyech, to be fair, has been really good for chance creation the last couple of games. So there's a lot more chance creation in there. James is back. Kukurea had a strong performance against Liverpool. He's more maybe defensive. But even going forward, he's been kind of lacklustre, so we need more from him. Going forward, his crossing really needs to fix up. Now that you see that team, you see a lot more balance in terms of on the ball, off the ball. Still lacking that balance in midfield for me. Um, unless, listen, Enzo can play as a, as, a, as a six, guys. He has played as a six. 
I don't personally believe that's where you get the best out of Enzo, based on who I've spoken to, based on Benfica and how they use him. Uh, you know, for me, for what we want from him, I think playing him as a six. I, you know, for me, I just don't like the backwards midfield kind of way of playing your most creative player as your deeper player and playing your defensive, um, you know, player higher up the pitch. That's just, for me, backwards. I prefer my defensive players back and my attacking players and creative players forward. I just like to keep the game very simple. Sometimes Chelsea will have their their six be more creative and more, you know, visionary in terms of their passing and their execution, maybe, than their player playing in an eight position who's there for the tackling and the interceptions and the pressing. I get it. I would love everybody to just be able to do everything. But if I had to pick, I would prefer my, my holding midfielder to be defensively competent um, and to be able to deal with the duels, deal with the, the, the different you know, challenges that everybody's going to face in the Premier League. And if they have to play it simple, then cool. They have to be press resistant. They have to be brave on the ball. They have to be able to receive it off the centre-backs, 100%. But if they don't have Cesc Fabregas-esque passing and vision, that's fine, you know, because hopefully the eights will, will give you that. Um, and even the fullbacks have become chance creators. But we we obviously are a little bit backwards at Chelsea, so it's a bit mad. Um, but yeah, let's see. Enzo is going to be playing, I think, deeper. Gallagher a bit further forward. And it's going to be interesting. Um, <laughs> uh, Matt, Matisse and uh, X scruffling, looking like two chopsticks trying to pick up some noodles. It's a madness. It's an absolute madness. Uh, I wasn't expecting that, but I kind of knew it was coming as well. I've, I watched the show. So I know when the tussle is, is about to happen, when there's a fight to break out. And I, and I said, listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take this one. We're going to go, we're going to go toe to toe here. hundred <laughs> percent. All right, cool. I know there's a lot of rivals hoping for our demise again, for Fulham to do a madness. We'll have to see um, if you get your wishes, but I'm, I'm confident. I've already gone with a 2-0 prediction, guys. I'm going to throw up um, a poll for you guys to predict as well. Let's see what we can do. Um, let's get a poll going. So Chelsea versus Fulham prediction. What channel is this on as well? Is this a is this a Sky Sports thing or a BT thing? Um I'm gonna throw it up now. Chelsea win. Fulham win and a draw. Cool. <clears throat> so get your votes in the polls up. Let's see what the confidence levels are saying. First vote is on a draw. <laughs> All right, cool. We have to win. In my opinion, it's like, yo, just we have to win. Let's just let's just start as we mean to go on, man. It's really important that we just we 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 kind of show that we're we're make we're gonna make some progress now. You know, this is serious. We're we're going to a situation in the second half of the season. It should not be anything like the first. I'm not expecting us to win every game. I'm not expecting us to win ten games in a row. But I'm not expecting to witness what I witnessed in the first half of the season. It's been shambolic up until this point. It's been shambolic. I can't even call it inconsistent because to be honest. Since the World Cup, you you can call it relegation form because that's what it's actually been. It's been relegation form. I think the only two wins we picked up was against um, Crystal Palace and then the first game against Bournemouth. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's all I remember. So for me, it's 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 100 time now to to start picking up some wins and to um to 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 go on a little bit more of a of a, you know, look look a lot more like a top team now. Let's let's be serious here. Um, all right, cool. Let me just quickly get this up as well. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. I'm actually excited for once. Usually I'm I am usually really nervous, probably because I know how bad we actually are. Whereas now I'm just excited, I'm not really that nervous. Um, I'm just looking forward to the game. I can't wait to see the debutants. I can't wait to see hopefully good football, you know. Uh, it's not all going to click at once. It's not all going to click at once. But at least can we see some signs? You know, can we see some signs? There's a lot of new players, yes. Um, well, it's actually, in this lineup, you could say there's, there's what, three new players. Um, so it's not even that mad. Uh, we're, not, we're not throwing everybody in straight away. Um, see Matt Law, Law's article. Well, to be fair, it's behind a paywall, isn't it? And you see, what, the thing is with me, right, is... If it's, if it's that deep, I will pay, but then I forget to stop paying. And then I get, you know, charged <laughs> three months later, $16.99 by the Telegraph. And I'm like, no, <laughs> that wasn't part of the plan. That's not what I intended. I, I don't agree to this. Um, 
obviously I did, but you know, it's very slight. And then, you know, some, sometimes now these, 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 um, these companies that are making you sign up and subscribe to things, they're making it very difficult for you to unsubscribe. You have to ring up and you have to call them. It's very big inconvenience to unsubscribe. Um, and obviously that, that makes sense, right? It's part of the plan. But for me, I would prefer if I just didn't, didn't even sign up in the first place. And I don't have these stresses because I can't be out here spending 14.99 on a telegraph. It's, this is, you're not Spotify. I'm not using you that often. Do you know what I'm saying? You need to be, you need to be getting used and abused if you're going to be spending monthlies on it. Um, <laughs> right. Let's see. Matt Law. I mean, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to check out maybe the headline if it's that deep. Aubameyang shocked and disappointed after he is dumped from Chelsea's Champions League squad. Um, yes, I imagine he is. I imagine he would be shocked. Like I said, it was a bold decision. In my opinion, I'm not going to undermine it. It's a big, it's a big deal. Um, and disappointed 100%. I, I understand that. But somebody was always going to be disappointed. Um, and I'd rather it be a player that, for me, is doesn't have a long-term future, um, is going to leave anyway, then it'd be someone that we're actually trying to either keep, like a Felix, um, that could dent our chances of keeping him, or somebody that could do with the experience, you know, that could actually learn something from the experience and could help Potter um, in terms of systematically what he wants to do. And also Potter wants to develop or should be developing young players as well. So I'm trying to see some development. And um, yeah, we want to win. But I don't think Aubameyang is 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 that key and essential to us winning. Personally, I don't think it's I don't think that's where we make or break. Um, but more importantly, if, if we're stronger for years to come because of the experience for some other players, then 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 that could be a positive as well. Um, I'm not going to get to read the full article, but yeah, um, I'm sure it's an opinionated piece. I think anyway, he's not going to have any quotes from Aubameyang. I'm sure. Um, all right, cool. So let's see. Happy with Enzo starting, but Mount Gallagher duo is still weak. This is the last chance for both of them, in my opinion. If you screw up, it's long for them. I personally don't like seeing them too often together. I agree. I think one at a time. Um, the only time, I think only once or twice I've been impressed with them both in the same team was when actually Gallagher was playing off a right wing position um, and Mount was playing as a 10. I think that was early days under Potter. Um, and they, they played really well. Um, I mean, Gallagher was really good on the right wing. He was getting some great crosses in. Um, but he's not a winger. Don't particularly want to vouch for that going forward. But I'm just saying, you know, it was a good performance. Um, but yeah, both of them together at the moment is not really doing it for me. So I agree with you. Um, Ash, my guy, my, you lot are doomed for failure. Um, and that will make double the joy. London is red. You should have Dave on speed dial to end the stream. And if you don't have one, uh, have one call, Todd and Headhunt X is Dave. Oh, well, I'll, I'll be fine. I'll end it myself. You know what I'm saying? I got I got the button right there, top right, just end broadcast and disappear into the into in, into obscurity. But what I will say though is um you would not be this chatty patty if you wasn't worried about us. And I said this on Best of Enemies as well. If the rivals weren't worried, would you really talk? I'm starting to see a lot more people now understanding what what might be going on here, what the plan might be. Because before it was more scattergun, right? Everybody said, oh, scattergun, no one knows what's going on, which is fair enough. The first window was wild. But now I'm seeing a lot more people on the TR saying, I kind of think I understand what they're doing now. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, you know, a few content creators from other clubs. Hey, they might be cooking something careful. And, you know, fair play. You, 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 you're holding that, um, that L. But also it tells me that you're worried about us in terms of, you know, the future and what we could be doing and what we could be taking from you in terms of your own aspirations and achievements. Now, if you're not worried, cool. I'm, I'm happy for you. But if you are worried, make sure you in particular, yeah, North London, make sure you seal the deal. Now, you know, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity that you have right now to capitalize. Um, and obviously you deserve to be where you are. You're playing very, very well. I've said it many times, your best team this season by a mile, but you make sure that you you capitalize and you, you seal the deal. You don't want to walk away from this one. And I'm not going to call you bottle jobs if you don't do it, by the way. I'm just saying you don't want to walk away with this one with any regrets. A couple of years time now when you can't compete with the money and all that kind of stuff, then you, you feel like you're wasted this opportunity. That's what I'm saying. So you might be nervous. Maybe you're just kind of pushing out your own nerves to me. 
you know, and you're projecting. I understand if that's what you're doing. I see right through it. If you're projecting those nerves. I'm calm. I'm in 10th. I'm, I'm calm. More than you can believe. We may have spent a lot of money, but I've never been this calm in my life to be in 10th. Honestly, like, I know what the future is meant to be and what the now is. I'm very humble about it. Like I said, 40 point mark, relegation rhythm, just trying to escape, trying to make sure that we stay in the league one game at a time. You guys want to, want to, some of you rivals want to throw that pressure on us. You want to say, yo, you should be demanding that you win this. No, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I, I'm humble. I understand that we, we effed up. We deserve this, right? We, we've been sacking managers. We've been not recruiting properly for years. So let's hold this, please. Let us hold this for a season. Like you guys need to allow us to be shit. Allow us to hold this smoke. Allow us to be tempt. Allow us to, to humble ourselves, to take it one game at a time, to, to, to be in the league for 40 points. Allow us to be them, them people. You always say that Chelsea fans are spoiled. You always say Chelsea fans never, never gone through turmoil or they don't understand what it's like. We're trying to understand. Let us understand. Why won't you let us? Why are you demanding that we win everything right now? We're trying to build for the future. Just let us, let us, let us chill. We're just trying to be liquid old Chelsea in the corner over here. Didn't mean no harm to nobody. And then he got liquidated and administrated and whatnot. Couldn't even tap a Barclays card a couple months ago. Allow us. Allow us. Please. We don't mean no harm. We're 10th. We ain't none, we ain't none of your concern. God, 29 points. I never heard a team spoken about like this. Jesus. So yeah, man. <laughs> Pick a lane. Uh, the the, the Labrador is about to ruin the midfield. Balance like nothing has changed. Prayers for Enzo. I, I, I'm worried. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I'm not. I've been watching these two's performances and they're not great. I think Gallagher's been better. Um, but, you know, it's been stinky at times. And I'm worried that Enzo's going to get fried in there and he's going to... I don't know. I, I hope Enzo is able to control that, that situation and hold it down. And I hope that they just also just step up and perform and play better. Um, but I am also worried that potentially, you know, it's a madness in there. And it's, like I said, it's not, it's not ideal. It's not what I would like to see. Um, I'm really keen to see Fulham win today, just to see Chelsea fans after that. Big up, man. Though your appearance on Best of Enemies was classic. Pr appreciate it. Much, much love. Um, I think, um, listen, if we lose, yeah, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's a free hit. It's not. You know, I, I do expect us to move up the league. I do expect us to to get ourselves first and foremost back into the top six, ahead of the clubs that we should be ahead of. And then, you know, we should be knocking on doors and, and at least being um, noisy in, and, and at least causing stress for other teams in, in, in the positions that they occupy for Champions League. But in terms, of, in terms of right now, yeah, I do expect us to win this game. I have gone with a 2-0 win. And if, if we do lose, I'm going to be pretty pissed, as I always am, but it is what it is. Um, for being a 10th place team, we rattle... So many, too many. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. I think it's just a Chelsea thing, isn't it? You know, we are, we are a drama club. We we do a lot of a lot of. Um, we're we're a very drama drama. We're not drama free at all. We're we're very drama centric, and we're there's always something going on. You know, there's always something going on. Whether it's spending, whether it's liquidating, whether it's winning, whether it's losing, whether it's um, ownership, whether it's change. You know, it's, this this club is just it's, it's EastEnders on crack. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's EastEnders on Christmas Day every day. And um, that's what we are, man. That's what we are. It's just, we just have to accept it. Um, okay. Uh, lineups are, like I said, so yeah, eight minutes till kickoff. I am going to get the timer ready to go. Big up, everybody. I see a, level, a lot of people, not just Chelsea fans. Everybody seems to be quite excited for this game, right? I think you guys are just, if you're a rival, you're definitely excited to just see how we get on. See the new players. Every single touch from Enzo Fernandez, they will be there no matter what, guys. I want to let Chelsea fans know this, right? We're under. Everybody's watching us tonight. It's a Friday night. We're the only game. London derby. Fireworks night. I was just at the bridge, like I said, before I came here. Everybody's buzzing. The place is buzzing. I got my Enzo and Jao Felix shirts ready to cook up. Got them letterings at the back of the shirts. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go pick them up tomorrow morning, hang them up. I'm ready to go. Five and eleven. Everybody is watching us tonight. More than you can believe, guys. More than you can believe, guys. More than you can believe, okay? And that's why I say it's W settings only, because we just need to win, guys. We do need to see good football. Not decent, good football. I'd like to see good football tonight. We've got good players on that pitch now. You know, let's see some good football. Yes, there's a couple players in there that you guys are going to call roadrunners. Cool. 
I need them to step up. I need them to start. Be, you know, let the, this is a contagious situation. We've spoken about it before, right? The Chelsea way and the Chelsea way of the last few years has been very contagious. A new, you know, um, cell comes into the body. That cell is healthy. That cell has the best intentions. Sterling, for instance, right? Kukurea, great debut at Everton. These new cells that come, they're, they're, so, they're so ambitious. They're so um, ready to rock and roll. Mudrick, uh, Felix. But then we get very sick. And we are already very sick. And we contaminate the place. And everybody within that structure that has just joined gets contaminated and they, they fall sick too. And suddenly they can't even tie their shoelaces, let alone kick off football. And that's just what happens. We are the problem. I've said it many times. It's not any more, unless I don't want the player in the first place. But if, even, if, even if it's a Sterling, where I may have preferred a Jesus, Sterling is a very good player. Even if it's a Kukure and you may think we pay too much, they're still a good player. Like most of the players that we've signed, even in the summer, I'd say Fafana, Kukure and Sterling, I'm, I'm pretty still very optimistic for those guys. Um, it's more the older guys who are not going to improve or they're going to regress or I was never too sure on them in the first place. Being the Bamiyan and Kulabani's just been too poor. He's just been too poor to, to, to even <laughs> legislate for, to be honest. If maybe it's personal behind the scenes, not settled, etc. But he's just been so bad that it's like, OK, maybe it's, it's just a wrap for you. Right. And I really do want Levi Cole back in. But we do contaminate the place, and we do um, we do ruin ruin players, and we do ruin ruin um, talent. So yeah, we have to take responsibility for that. And now, now it's time for it to be the opposite way around. We've signed so many players that I'm hoping their you know intentions, their ambitions, their their qualities will kind of corrupt and consume and contaminate those who are out of form those who are not playing well, those who are low on confidence or whatever have you will, or just maybe you don't even rate them. But I'm hoping um, those guys are going to be contaminated and consumed by the quality around them and they're going to start stepping up their game. Um, and that's that's the key thing here. If they can do that, then fantastic. That's, that's great. If not, then they'll be benched, hopefully, um, by God's grace. So we move. Now... Stanford Bridge has a little light show going on, it seems. There's um, flashing. This is beautiful. It's like a Champions League night at Stanford Bridge, it seems. The lights are flashing. We're getting the little little pops um, in the stadium. It's definitely sold out. Like I said, I was there a couple of hours ago. Place was hopping, buzzing. People were excited. Um, and yeah, man. I actually saw my brother in the mega store. Yes, I saw him. Um, he's at the game. And yeah, man, people are in the mega store buying shirts. This is what new signings do. They get people excited. They get people up optimistic for the future. Um, and they do bring pressure. They do bring expectation, but they get, they bring back joy and they bring back some sort of optimism. And this is the first time in a long time where I'm actually looking forward to a game and I'm, I'm not really nervous. I'm just excited. I can't wait. You know, it's been a long wait. We haven't seen a game since um, Liverpool. We always out the FA Cup. And... I can't wait for this. I'm genuinely can't wait. Now, hopefully that, that actually lasts um, and they don't, you know, they don't go and blow it in five minutes and concede or some madness because then my, my attitude will change very quickly. But I'm absolutely buzzing. Um, absolutely buzzing. I always get this question and I'm not going to go at you at all. This is a fair question. I'm going to answer it. I'm going to keep it completely honest. This is a community. I always do that. Make sure you subscribe. Everybody in this chat are subscribers. Subscriber only chat. Love you guys. We just dropped to 40k. So whenever these questions are asked, I always keep it 100 bucks. Actually, it's not a subscriber only chat, but I'm going to make it right now um, because we don't want any spam. It's too much spam. There has been a bit of spam. I always say this, right? And it is a banter thing, of course, as well. But this is the real truth behind the matter. It's just a real life. I'm a content creator. <laughs> this is my full-time job. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make this very, very clear for anybody who doesn't get it, right? Because they think that, oh, there's, there's some people that think, you know, people that don't, don't go to games or, you know, they're not real fans or whatever. But hopefully you guys are not like that. I don't think you guys are. It's a genuine question. I'm a content creator. It's my full-time job. So if I go to a game, it's not like anybody else going to a game. If I go to a game, that is a time period where, okay, I'm not making content, so I'm not making money. But I'm also paying to go to the game as well. So I'm spending even more money. So for me to go to a game is more cost, it's more costly than an average person. Whereas 
normal person that goes to a game, they work during the week. That's their relief. That's their free time. That's their time where they go to enjoy. So they're spending their, they're spending their spending money. If I go, I'm, I'm missing out on work and I'm going to the game. So I'll go to the game every now and then. But you have to understand that I'm a content creator. You have to understand that I have to pay bills. I have to, I have to eat. I have to, you know, I, need, I have ambition. I want to be successful in this industry. So I have to make sure that I prioritize making sure that I do my job. And my job is to be here and to provide you content and to give you commentary for people that are outside the country that don't, go, don't get to go to games. They like to watch me, me speak on the game, give a bit of banter, give commentary reactions. That's what I do. I've already been to loads of games. I've been to so many games. Before I did this job, I went to loads of games. So I'm not saying that, you know, I don't miss going to games. I do, but I, I was never anyone that needed to go to every single Chelsea game. I lived in other countries. I lived in Ireland. So I'm used to not going to games. I'm used to going to games. I'm used to not going to games. Now, Saeed goes to games. Yes, Saeed vlogs. I don't like vlogging. I hate vlogging. So you ask me why don't I don't vlog? Because I don't like to vlog. If I go to a game, I'm not going to vlog. If I go to a game, I'm going to watch the game because I need to know what's going on. Now, people that vlog, I say fair play to you because it's very difficult to do and it's not very fun. I know it looks fun because there's reactions and stuff, but I personally don't enjoy it. I vlogged once or twice, Wembley, but it's not very fun in my opinion. I don't like it. Um, and it takes my attention away from what's happening. And if I'm going to watch a game, I need to know what's going on that pitch. So if I'm watching it here, and I'm talking to you guys. I'm watching it. I'm writing my notes on my notepad. I know what's happening. So I can speak on it after for my review, for the podcast, for the content, for when people ask me on the channels, when I go and do work. I need to know what happened. If I go to the game and I'm vlogging and I'm missing stuff, it's a long day for me because then I can't do the content to the quality I need to do it. So that's how it works. I hope you understand. And yeah, that's, that's, that's the name of the game, people. You know, you have to understand these things. All right, cool. Let's get the timer up. <clears throat> so I'm going to let's get the timer in. Right, cool. <clears throat> if I go, there's no watch along. <laughs> so you know, you gotta pick and choose. All right. I'm going to throw this time up in a minute. We're almost at kickoff. Actually, do you know what? No, I feel like we're at kickoff and I feel like this is a this is a delay. Todd Bowie's in the building. Todd Bowie is in the building. Beautiful to see. You know, he's probably thinking, I spent a lot of money. I spent a lot of money. You better deliver them goods. Do you know what I'm saying? He's like, yo, I spent a lot of money. I'm expecting to see some, some good football today. Because, you know, Todd Bowie's been going to some games. And he's probably thinking to himself, raw. He's probably thinking, raw. <laughs> I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing any money. I'm not seeing any, like, I'm not seeing any, um, I'm not seeing any return on my investment. Now, obviously he's in it for the long term, but I'm, I'm sure today he's not expecting to see a car crash. He probably wants to see some good football. So hopefully we give it to him, man. It's about time. I feel like everybody deserves, everybody deserves just a, a break, man. A break from the L's, a break from the drama. Um, at last, can we please get some, some good football and, and a win? That's all I want. I went 2-0 on my prediction. That's all I need. Just, just a little 2-0. Um, and that's it, man. Just, just something to something to hold on to, something to really just escape. You know, when I say that I need us to win, it's it's also because I just I just need to know that I'm we're not gonna have to defend for our lives the whole week, you know, when we speak to others, when we go to our workplaces. I'm sure you guys have work colleagues that support other clubs. They ask you what what was your club doing over the weekend? Why were you so crap? I feel like we all just need a week off, you know, where we know next week that we, when we go into our, you know, workplaces that we will not be, or our schools, you know, every, I know going to school, the banter is at an all time high university, whatever. So we just need to know that next week guys, we're in the clear and no one ain't going to bother us or trouble us for nothing. And that's it. That's all we want from this match, man. Um, but let's see, let's see if they can do that. So Enzo, Let's see, man. I'm looking forward to seeing his position. He's already given us a lovely pass. They're out to Reese. Let's go. They're going to be watching your every touch. Ziesh, good stuff. Let's go, Reese. Every time I see Reese running, I shit myself. And I'm William, you better be careful when you when you go next to Reese, man. He's delicate. Be very careful next to Reese. Don't don't um don't get too close to that guy. Please make sure you're blocking any fake scores. Um 
And you can tell the difference between fake scores and predictions, mods, um, because we don't want that round here. Um, we really don't want that. All right, silver. <clears throat> Gallagher. Mason, good. Let's go. Madrid. Oh, Madrid. Oh, I wanted him to I wanted him to pop it off. I wanted him to let it, let it fly. I really did just want him to let it fly, man, and take the shot. It's a shame. It's a damn shame indeed. It's a damn shame indeed, man. I was hoping he would just pop off the shot, but he wasn't. He wasn't he wasn't feeling it. My score prediction was 2-0. My score prediction was 2-0. Dead atmosphere, is someone saying laughing? You were hilarious on Best of Enemies. Big up, much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Um, my timer is a little bit off here. I'm going to change it in just a second. Don't worry when, when there's a bit of a break in play. My notepad... It's gone AWOL. I'm not going to lie to you. I've kind of lost it. So bear with me on that as well. I will have to get a new notepad because I think it's just it's just disappeared. Um, Ziyech, let's see. Ziyech is such a strange one, right? Because Ziyech is playing really well recently in the last couple of games. But he also then was available for exit to go out on loan to PSG. But then he's starting. And I saw in training, obviously, we weren't there. He could have been smiling for anything, you know. But he... At least we saw he was in a good mood at one millisecond of the training, which is good. So at least minimum one millisecond, he was happy. And that's 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 good because he could have easily... I would have been completely understanding if Ziyech was sulking in training for, for a few days. You know, he was disappointed. The guy almost was playing with Messi and Mbappe. I understand it. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Let's be real. So I get it. I would, I would actually really get it. Really get it. But... Someone bust a joke or something and he was a happy man for a moment. So here he is in the starting 11. That's good. But you have to understand, that's that's kind of peak. I'm not going to lie. Really peak. He could have been playing with Messi and Mbappe and Neymar. Like, and he's 29, so it's a different ball game for him. You're not going to maybe get that chance again. I don't know. P P I don't think PSG will come back in for him. It's kind of like how we went in on deadline day for Alvarez. We weren't really serious about him, were we? Because we, we didn't even talk about Alvarez this January at Ajax. And I feel like PSG did the same thing. They they don't they ain't gonna come back in for him. I don't think so. Um he would have been on the bench, yeah. Oh, 100 percent But he's 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 been on the bench loads for us as well. So you're just swapping bench for bench, really. He's not can't say Ziesh is a consistent starter for us, to be honest. Especially when Sterling comes back as well. I think a lot of people have given up on Sterling. Um, I don't know why. I think Sterling, listen, he's he's a good player, man. Very good player. I think he's gonna be. With us next season, 100%. I know there were a few rumours, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to Sterling coming back into the team um, with some of these young players. But I think he'll be a good, experienced player to have around the place. When we've got quite a young team, I would still keep someone of Sterling's experience. I think he'd be a good, good player to have. I don't see him as like a captain or anything. He's obviously not. But I think behind the scenes, he could be some words of wisdom. He's gone through a lot, had a lot of experiences, a lot of criticism, a lot of tough times, a lot of pressure. So I think Sterling's a good person to keep around the place if we can. Um, that's out of play. That's that's a goal kick. It's definitely a goal kick. James just got skinned. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. He did. But he, again, it's tough, right? Because he's only just come back from injury. So I'm, you know, uh, air on the side of caution with Reese James today. He's not like as if he's. It's not like as if he's he's fully fit. I think he was recommended to not play the full ninety. So he's rough around the edges. So there's certain certain players when they come into the team, I'm not going to be expecting the best performance. Reese James is one. Got to be got to be fair. Chilwell, um, Kante, Kante when he comes back, Cover. All these players, I have to I have to grade them differently when they come back because they they're not fit. Here's Ziyech, one two of Kai. Unlucky, unlucky. Enzo hasn't scored yet. Concerning. <laughs> It is concerning. It is concerning. It is concerning. 100%. More than you can't believe. More than you can't believe. Um, Enzo. I can't wait to get the shirt. I'm buzzing. 
I haven't been this excited about a signing since since Jao Felix. <laughs> oh Jesus. And to be fair, Jao Felix, I wasn't maybe as excited because I was trying to protect the player. I was like, bro, I like you and I think you're a great player, but you come to us, we kind of kill attackers. So good luck out there, you know. But now we're starting to put together a team that might be a little bit more favourable, a lot more favourable. Enzo, oh, come on, win that, win that. Well done. Good stuff. Good stuff, boys. Winning the ball in the midfield. Let's go. That's much better. Give Enzo the ball. Yeah, yeah. The game's got to settle down. Here's Mount. Good one, two of Kai. Please play it in behind, Mount. Please. Oh. Kai Havos was calling for it. Kai Havos was calling for it, man. Kai Havos was calling for it. Oh, come on. There was a really good pass, I think, from Mudrick into Carney in the Liverpool game. And it was one of those passes where people look back at it and they were like, yo, how did he actually find that gap? And I feel like because the standard of the passing has been so poor, we've started to almost forget that you can make certain passes if you have the vision and the execution and the confidence. And we should be demanding that some of these passes, passes get played. Like, with Chelsea, you gotta pay. You gotta be playing some of these passes. These passes that we're saying are hard to play. Yeah, they are hard to play, but we're meant to be <laughs> having some of the best players in the world. We're a top team. The top players play those passes. Like Modric outside the right boot pass for Real Madrid. It's not easy, <laughs> but it has to get played. Do you know what I'm saying? We need to get. We need to get to the point where we're playing these passes. It's not. It's not acceptable to say, "Oh, that's not an obvious pass, so we can't play it." Of course, it's not an obvious pass. That's why you need to play it. Duh. You know what I'm saying? I'm sick of this nonsense, fam. We need to start start talking about talking about this level of passing in the team. Unlucky. Obviously, body shape comes into it and things like that. Yes. Um, but you know, if the, if you can see it and it's there, then we gotta start, we gotta start playing these passes. Have to. Today, no red cards, please, man. Is that a corner? Yeah. Mount is washed, someone said. No, I, I disagree. I disagree. Um, I do think it's a confidence thing as well. And I do think he should be... That's why I said he should be out of the team. I think it's... The thing is with him is that he's never had a period of time where he's not been in the team. So he's never had the opportunity to go away, reflect, like be out of the limelight, no pressure, work on himself, develop. He's always had like a role, responsibility and key player status. And I don't think he should be on that. He should be on a moment now where he gets to be withdrawn. We've got other talented players that have come in. Felix, he could play the 10. You know, we've got Enzo that's come in. We've got fresh guys that are ready to do something now. Let them do that while he comes out and fixes himself up and then let's see if he can come back to where he was before. So, because because I say it all the time, other players in other teams, they get the opportunity to be rotated and to be looked after and to be, you know, playing in one role. But this player does not get that. So, he has been poor, but I don't think it's the end. You just need to just sit on the sidelines for a bit. But we've got injuries, so... But when everybody's fit or when more people are fit, you know, if he still ain't playing well, man, he needs to be... He needs to be... He needs to be given a break, man, because it's just long. Kukurea clears. And he... It's funny with him. He knows when he's not played well as well. He's not one of these... He's not one of these people that will think that they've played... You know, I think there was... At May night, there was a time where we were talking about their players... And main eye fans, I think, agreed as well. And they were like, these players think they're better than they are. Like the Maguires, the kind of confidence and cockiness that they had. It was like, yo, you, you're not that good. He doesn't have that. He is, he is, um, he does understand that he's, he's had a bad game when he had it. Um, very self-critical and whatnot, which is good. But yeah, he just, just plays way too much. That's a free kick ref. Free kick. Um, Chelsea can't get out. It's too good. Mm, he's yeah, he's a good player. I've been hearing a lot, a lot of good things from him. Um, on the few times I've watched Fulham as well, he has been he has been good. He has been good. Um, I'm expecting <laughs> the super team are on it today. The super team are on it.
Let's see. Clears, come on. Where Enzo is playing right now, it does it does vex me a little bit. But I understand maybe this is what we have to do right now. But it does vex me. I can't lie. Here's Gallagher. Go on. You see where you see where Gallagher is now? That's where Enzo should be. You see? That's where I want Enzo. It's very backwards. I don't like it, but it is where it is. Uh, it's just jarring me, man. Like you've got the guys that have been struggling for creativity ahead of Enzo, closer to the golden Enzo to play final passes. It's just jarring. Here's James, right side. And Enzo's chilling back with the defenders. Like it just doesn't, it just doesn't, it doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't sit well with me at all, man. The creativity is back there while the problems with the creativity is up there. It's just jarring. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're right It's just true He's probably right now our best six Which is crazy, right? He's our best eight And he's our best six uh, Here's what it is Alright Hopefully that doesn't continue For the whole game James is rusty, for sure Go on Enzo, let's go James because Enzo is not Jorginho. Like, that's not him. But obviously, right now, that's what he'd be looking like to a lot of people in terms of where he's playing. And where he's kind of forced to stay. Like, I have no problem with Enzo getting involved in first phase because he's very good at first phase. But you just don't leave him in the first phase. Do you know what I'm saying? Get him in the first phase, but don't leave him there. Let him go into the second phase and the third phase. Um, here's James. Silver. <clears throat> Come on, man. How deep Enzo is, man. <sighs> Jarring. Long pass will get played. Great long ball out to Reese James. That's what we paid for with the long range passing that we spoke about, people. That's better. Much better. Need to be much better at switching the play. This team really doesn't switch play as, um, as quickly as they've needed to. He'll bring that. He'll switch play much better. Get the ball moving a bit faster. Team's not very good at switching play that well. Especially, I, I'm not really over, over like, oh, we have to always be switching play. But when there's an outlet out there and they're free, can we please switch it? The amount of times I've seen, I saw it in, what game was it? Man City I saw recently. And it was only De Bruyne that was switching it. Like, everybody else just refused to switch play. And you saw Grealish somewhat, sometimes on the left wing, by himself, just chilling. In no man's land, just like bare space, and no one will switch it out to him. It's just, just so annoying, frustrating. And this is what I've been arguing with people on Twitter with Enzo. It's like, yes, he can play six. He's played there for Argentina, cool, but that's not his best position. And it's like some people will be like, oh, but maybe we'll we'll use him there. I'm like, you can, but. Why would you use somebody who's got everything on the ball to create so deep? Why would you why would you force them to stay so deep? Ziesh. Oh man. Ah, big up everybody in the building. Over 2,000 of you in here. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Big game, man. Big game. Switch off play. Win that, James. Well done. It's not It's not going to be pretty, maybe, the whole game. I understand that. I think we have to understand that. As much as we're excited, we aren't going to get champagne football from zero, zero um, to 90. But we do need to see spells, at least, of, of um, peppering that goal. Silver. Game's there, man. I'm not trying to hear nothing but Ws today. Let's go. I need a win. Need to be coming and leapfrogging these teams, man. He was never a DM. Yeah, yeah, bro, he's not. That's what I'm saying. James, ah, uh, it's not pulled off. Our counter press, I'm not expecting to see no problems, by the way. You see this? Let me say this right now. You see this? You see this counter press? If Fulham play out from the back, I'm not expecting to see no nonsense with the counter press. 
You've got Mason Mount. You've got Gallagher. You've got Kai Havertz. You've got a hard-working Mudrik who's moving mad in the gym. I'm not expecting to see no problems from a counter-pressing standpoint. And when Ziyech wants to turn it on, work great wise, he'll do that as well. That counter-press better be certain, especially because we ain't played in a week. That counter-press better be certified. Do not let me see that Fulham team playing through like it's nothing. I want that counter-press on point. Because when you're playing these pressing eights that we're doing today, right, you better make sure that you're winning the ball high up the pitch and creating turnovers. That's, that's what you got to do. If we're not going to have the most creative eights in the world with Gallagher and Mount right now, then you better make sure you're winning the ball high up the pitch. Come on. Like turnovers. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. And then easier chances, clear-cut chances. Has to be. If I'm not getting that, then I'm not getting anything. I need turnovers. I'm not, I don't want to see us having to build up from the back every single time. I need, I need turnovers, man. Have to have turnovers. Fulham here. Good. Kukurea. Good. Gallagher, come on. Let's go. Come on. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, my God. Okay, good. Ziyech. Ziyech. Oh. Now... Come on. Yes, Kukurea. Madrid. Come on, Enzo. Yes, well done. Silver. Clipped. Lovely ball. Lovely. Oh, my fucking God. Are you taking a piss? You better be offside. You better be offside. You better be offside, mate. You're offside. You're lucky. You're lucky. That was a beautiful ball from Silver. You better be offside, brother. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> hey. We actually did win the Champions League with him up front. That's what's so ironically funny. <laughs> you see that? That's what's so ironically funny is we actually did win the Champions League with him up front. <laughs> so that puts that to bed. Hey. Eh? <laughs> that's what he's literally spoken about. Like, that's why he's spoken about like the way he is because of the whole Champions League thing. Remember? He scored in the final and that's what he does. That's why he's got this patience and time that he's got. If That's a big moment for him. So, yeah. Damn right. <laughs> we can win it with him up front. <laughs> we missed so many chances. This is why I know people when they say that Chelsea didn't deserve the Champions League the second time around. That's how I know people didn't watch the games. Like, we watched the games. We deserved it. More than you can believe. Because, funnily enough, we actually should have scored more. We exceeded our XG. Con like, the XG for us was always good. We always created. We always looked like we should have scored more. And the other team, we kept them out. Our defence was impeccable. But we missed so many chances. Even in the final, Pulisic missed just past the post. Kante had a header in the box early. Like, we missed bare chances. Bare chances. So only the reason why we won it is because our defence was so solid. People think we won it because we scored loads of goals. Because our, our strikers were... Because were, Timo Werner was, was clinical as hell. No, he scored against Madrid in the second leg, but you think he was some mad clinical striker? Kai Havertz was mad clinical. No. We won it because our defence was, was, was mad good. But we weren't defending all game. We're not defending all game at all. Yellow card. For Palinia. That's good. That's good. He's on the yellow. That should help. So now Mount and Gallagher need to get in amongst it. <clears throat> How is Mudrik going to play if we keep playing the ball to the right flank? Well, it's a superb question. I mean, listen, Reese James is on the right, Kukre is on the left. It doesn't surprise me we're going down the right. But yeah, I agree. I'd like it to be more balanced. I'd like to go, go down the left more. 
Is that my phone? Oh. I'd like us to go down the left a lot more. 100%. More than you can believe. Silver. But this is also why I would like Felix in the 10 over, say, Mount or Gallagher. Because we know Felix is really good to combine with. So even if you are going down the right, primarily defence in... Oh, good, we've got a corner. You know Felix likes to come in that left channel a little bit. He kind of moves all over, but he likes that left side a little bit more. Um, and then you've got your left winger and Felix kind of very close. They can have their combinations. We saw it already um, when he was playing against Fulham. So with Felix out there, you get a little bit more... You get more... Um, a more of a balance between the two flanks, I feel. Especially when Felix is playing the 10 and then say you have a Reese James a right back, you 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 kind of compensate for that. Um play it. Gallagher. Ziesh, lovely. Gallagher. Oh yes. Just, I don't know what's going on offside. <sighs> hmm. Players need time. It's true, hundred percent. Players need time. I'm not expecting to see um, champagne football right from the beginning, but <clears throat> need to win the game, and I need to see need to see signs and and you see chances being created, shots being taken. <clears throat> yes, Sky Sports. We get it. We are the top spenders in January. Yes, we get it. We spent this much. They spent that much. We don't need the graphic anymore. I think everybody knows that Chelsea spent a lot of money in January. I think everybody knows. Don't worry. Great save from Kepa. It's Fulham's first effort. Gallagher's decent. Mount must follow through on attack. Shot from distance. Good save from Kepa. Nice height for him due to his size. And um, out for a corner. Listen, Fulham are a good team, so there's going to be moments where they 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 cause problems. But we need to stand firm and keep keep a clean sheet, man. Really do. October. That defense that we've got out there is good defense, you know. Um, Badi Shiles had a great start. Silver, James, obviously Rusty, but Kukurea, We need to be we need to be aiming for a clean sheet. Don't give ourselves too much to do. From one oil brother to another. Just want to say, stepping in for Turkish, uh, thought you filled the boots well and the hairline looking good despite Chelsea maybe taking years off your life this year. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's not being easy to host those those shows. Um, not because I'm not used to hosting. I host a lot of shows, but it's it's it's, it's um, it was a tough, tough first show with Turkish for everything that happened personally for him. And we're like a family on there now, so we we feel each other's pain, man. Obviously, so you know what I'm saying. Uh, it wasn't it wasn't easy to host that first one, and the second one, obviously, the whole Greenwood thing, brother. I was just like, bro, I can't I can't be dealing with this man as well. Like, it's just it's gonna be a long show. I'm gonna get immature chats, and I don't know. But it was actually fine in the end, so that was good. Um, we didn't even have time to even speak on it. But Man United put out their statement, and um, just wait to see what their decision is. I guess Man United. Um, here is Enzo Mount well done get your free kick let's go use your body much better that's much better our players need to get a lot better at using their body as well that's that's. I need to see more of that <clears throat> he's got the half turn on him he likes that one but that was good shielding of the ball there got his foul and um, don't get dispossessed Give it time, boys. Give it time. This is why I say one game at a time, guys. All right? One game at a time. We haven't seen too much of Madrid. Enzo. Well done. Silver. Back into Enzo? Nope. Silver. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, we need to get Mudrick on the ball, man. 100%. 100%. There we go. 
or we tried to fizz it, in, fizz it into Kai. Touch was loose. We need to get it into Mudrik more for sure. Get it. Thing is, yeah, I would love it if we, if we, if the if the midfield was more tailored how I'd want it to be, because then Enzo would be higher up the pitch, and I think Enzo would be spotting. He would he would be getting the ball into Mudrik into higher positions because. It's all well and good Mudrik receiving the ball on the halfway line and then turning and seeing the whole team in front of him. I want to see Mudrik picking up the ball higher up the pitch. I want him to see him receiving them passes in higher areas where he can do damage. Um, and he's not getting the ball in those areas right now, which is jarring. Hold on. Hook it. Nice. That's better. Who's this? Mason. Okay, switch it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, uh, what's happened to Mace's switch of play, man? What's happened to his switch of play? He used to be able to switch to play. Why is he not able to switch to play? It's an easy switch. Rushed it. Rushing the switch. Rushing the switch, man. Oh, Christ almighty, honestly. I don't know what's going on with this brother and why why he's always having to stop. She's not at it. Fulham on the attack right side. Ball in. Clear that silver. Lovely. Good. Get it out. Well done. Smart. Come on. Well done. Good stuff. Let's go. Mudrick. Go on. Oh my god. Oh, come on, boys. Come on, boys. We need, we need better. Play it. There we go. That's better. Nice. Oh, launching it. Why are we launching it, man? Let's stop launching that ball. It's Kai up there. It's not Drogba. That's better. Now Enzo. Good. Gallagher. Aware, aware. First touch. First touch. First touch, Gallagher. First touch. First touch. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I don't know how many more times I can keep doing this, man. <laughs> it's the same thing every time with these two. Mount and Gallagher in these, in these same positions, same problems. Your first touch has to be solid. Same thing and feel the same thing today. First touch needs to be solid. No touch. It's not good enough. The first touch needs to be proper. You need to be able to keep that ball. I'm sorry. There's a lovely little bit of play from Mudrick and, and, and Enzo. Why? Why are you not? Why are you not keeping that ball with you? Why? Why? Oh Lord Jesus. Uh -oh. People wonder why I was like, yo, I'm going to keep it a buck. I would have taken the 45 mil from Everton. I said it. <laughs> like, I feel like sometimes people, it's tough when you do this, yeah, because people want you to give opinions and to not hide from your truth. But then when you say your opinion, they're like, you're too harsh or you're too critical or you're too, you're too biased and you're too soft or whatever. And you can't really win, right? And Gallagher's a touchy one for people because he loves the club and whatnot. And that's great. But it's like, bro, 45 million. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. Should have been 1-0. It's good play through the midfield. Enzo picking up the ball. Nice pass. That's what we purchased him for. And then, and then, then, then. Mount. Good pass into Kai. Nothing wrong with it. Kai just can't quite get there. Can't quite get there. He's got to be quicker, but that's what we purchased Enzo for, man. You see these passes from Enzo. This is what we want. Nice vision. Nice little clippity dinky dinks over the top. This is what we want. But you see when they were, someone asked me a question, they were like, um, what's your GA for Enzo? I said, bro, that's not Enzo. We don't, don't ask me about his GA. He's not Bruno Fernandes. Don't ask me what I expect Enzo's GNA to be. He's not Bruno Fernandes, you know what I mean? He's not Deli Ali at Tottenham. Why are you asking me them questions there? Watch the game, brother. 
Don't go on to Sofa Score and ask me what was his GNA. Go and watch the game. You see Enzo create three big chances and then nobody scores. Enzo had a good game. We move. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear no, no GNA nonsense. When, when you're playing pre-passes like that, pre-assists, and then you can't get the job done like that, it ain't going to be his fault. I'll tell you that. It's not going to be his fault. I don't want to hear that GNA nonsense, fam. Man, them need to start watching the game. You'll be checking his Sofa Score rating and asking me is it a good signing or not. Please, man. Go on, Kai. Yes. F oh, unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. Unlucky. Bit rushed. That's Bell. Um, to be fair, let's be real. Am I the one that goes at Grealish that, like, on the big six like that? No, I don't go at Grealish like that. In fact, when Grealish came up against Chelsea, now, fair, you need to be a little bit careful with what you're doing because Grealish is actually higher up the pitch than Enzo. But even still, when Grealish played against Chelsea in the cup, in the Carabao Cup, I said he was man in the match. He didn't get a single GNA in that game. So I've said it before. Grealish has had very good games where he's got GNA. And sometimes Grealish has actually had bad games when he's got GNA. So you just have to watch the game. Like I said, you've just got to watch the game, man. Um, top presenter, all your shows are worthy of a big respect with your unbiased analysis and top wit. Super funny to follow. Shame you support the wrong team. One day you'll find the right path, my bro. Wow. <laughs> big up, Ash, man. Much support. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, a joker. Uh, Enzo to do a Felix and get a straight red. Nope. Nope. Don't don't put that negativity out here. No, don't, don't put that negativity out here, please. Not today. You know how gutted I was the end that he got sent off. I didn't see him. I haven't seen him for a month. I was so excited to see Felix. I ain't seen him in a month. No, 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 no. Don't play with that one. Don't play with that one. No, no. We're not putting that out there. It's also like I saw someone saying that oh Fe um, Enzo Fernandez has never never got an injury for four years because i searched his injury record on deadline day because i was trying to get the medical done here from the studio i said if we can check his injury record on the computer and nothing shows up then we can just do the medical here right just so the deal gets done um i couldn't find nothing nothing came up in google typed in nothing came up so but then people are trying to trying to do a, a jinxing thing where they say now he's going to get an injury at chelsea because our medical team is is a bit fugazi but Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah, we should really, really be, to be honest, the way the game is going, we should really be looking to be in the lead at half time. Here's Ziesh. Ziesh. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, he's on his right. Hey, Bumba. Bumba. This is why he never uses his right foot. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be more predictable, bro. Be way more predictable. Use your left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Sorry I ever doubted you. <laughs> Sorry. Don't ever use your right foot again, brother. Always cut in. No matter how predictable, always do it, bro. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my bad. Because I was asking for some more... Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I, re I regret. I regret, man. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, don't do that again. Don't do that again. Reese James with a switch. Lovely. Lovely. Unlucky. Let's go. Kokorea. Madrick. Oh, going to give away possession there, mate. That back heel wasn't back healing. Oh, sh. See that? That was a moment where you saw an Enzo weakness, right? Yes, he got skinned. Shit. Oh, my God. Oh. <gasps> Oh, that was close. Um, yes, he got skinned. You see that? You see that moment that you just saw from Enzo? When I... Because when I do my player specials, and we did one with um, Rabona TV, we speak about weaknesses as well. We don't just talk about gas the player up and, you know, we used to do that on Twitter. Now we are a little bit more level-headed. Or at least we try to be. Um, we speak about weaknesses. That there is also a weakness. He's not the quickest player. He's not the quickest. He's quicker than Jorginho, but he's not some sort of, you know... Um, He's not a Power Ranger. He's not. He's not that. He's not that speedy. So he can occasionally have a moment like that, which is why for me he's not a DM. Um, you know, now any DM can have that. Let's be real. Any DM can get cooked like that. We've seen Fabinho getting cooked all season like that. Um, but ideally, most times, nine times out of ten, they handle that situation. Um, you know, you don't want to see that happening too often. That doesn't happen to a, a party too often. Casemiro too often. You know. You'd want to you'd want to not let that happen. 
Um, I don't know why I said Power Ranger. <laughs> GA experts like Toby uh, will have his agenda on end zone calling it. Bro, listen, let me tell you something, right? Toby has got a brilliant football in mind, but when it comes to Chelsea, he's not interested. <laughs> so don't 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 go to him for Chelsea because he's you can see him smiling away with his pina coladas. He doesn't want none of it, man. He doesn't want none of it. He's very um he very much hates this football club with a passion. Um, so yeah, just don't don't go to him for Chelsea stuff, man. He's not interested. He, he already told you he doesn't give a damn about the context. So just when he speaks, listen in it. <laughs> man said I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. <laughs> so you have to you have to you have to respect it. Um Big up everybody. Crazy great numbers today. I guess everybody's locked in to see how the new signers do. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. We're not far from um, the next milestone. I mean, we're pushing for 50, man. We're pushing. We're pushing. We're going to be going, moving on to the next. This is going to be a big, big year, man. Got big plans. Um, 38 minutes gone. Here we go. Mitrovic, unlucky. Mount. Good. Unlucky. Oh. Hmm. 38 minutes. All right. Well, we're going to start at some point thinking about what we need to do to change the course of this. Um, because obviously we, we need to win. And uh, I don't want to rest on our laurels, man. You know, we're not one of those teams where I kind of sit here and think we're gonna find a way eventually. No, I, I need to see, I need to see us find a way. Period. Just you know, let's 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 proactively not re not reactionary. Let's be proactive here and make sure that we we get this done. Ziyech, oh, unlucky. Um, Ziyech is his right foot is non-existent, man. He's definitely definitely extremely left left footed, bro. I don't trust him to pass with the right to to shoot with the right. Nothing. I would prefer that he gets his left foot and, you know, wraps it around his right when he's passing, if anything. Like, do the skill. You know the skill move? Like, bro, do that if you have to. If it's that deep. If it's that deep. <laughs> Silver. That is Chile. Good. Enzo. Oh, lucky. Here's Fulham now. Mitrovic. Switching it. That's poor. I should have kept you should have kept that in play as a good switch. Should have done better than that. The new players will be good, but it'll take longer than half a season to get them to gel. Is part of the man to get the best out of these new players. We're going to find out. You know, we're going to find out. There's no harm in finding out. There's no harm in finding out. Because whilst we're finding out, we're going to clear the team. We're going to, we're going to have a clear out, a sale, an absolute yard sale in the summer. And then next season, when the team is cleansed, we're going to find out. And then if he doesn't put shit together, then we have the conversation. Do you know what I'm saying? But for me right now, I'm, I'm ready to find out. I'm ready to find out. I'm a patient person. But at least then, you know, from me, I'm very patient. So then if I do lose it, it tends to be, that's it. Like, you know, I, I'm not one of these people that will be like in, out, shake it all about. If, I'm, if, if, I, if I do snap, that is it. Like, adios. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I've, I know now this is not it. I'm not going to give you shake it all about in and out. I'm not going to do that. Like I'm very, very patient, more patient than maybe others. So you might sit there thinking, racking your brain like, yo, why is this guy still here waiting on this shit? Like it's clearly not working, but I am like, I would rather max out all of my patience, see everything I need to see in every single way I need to see it. And then as soon as, as soon as it's over, then, then it's over. Do you know what I'm saying? But um, for me, them conversations are not not taking place right now at all. We need to be. We need to. We need to understand what this is. <clears throat> <laughs> I 
Everybody's chatting Enzo, yeah, yeah, of course, man. Listen, Enzo, Enzo's been, Enzo's been good. Enzo's been good. Playing the long passes I expect him to play. His, his, his long range passing is brilliant, and I've seen, I've, I've seen that quite a few times already. But I need to see, um, I need to see Mudrick on the ball a lot more. I need to see a lot more balance in our, in our build up play, <clears throat> more down the left as we, we're only really going down the right. Um, and I would like to make a substitution and. I don't really care if it's Mount or Gallagher, but I'm taking off one of them personally. And I said, personally, in my lineup, I would not have had either of them in there. Um, and I now definitely want one of them off. And I'm willing, I'm ready to do that as early as half time, to be honest. I, I really, I really don't care. Um, I'm really not asked. I'm, I'm ready to see one of them come off. <sighs> And do you know what? Ideally, you know, I'd like to see Enzo higher up the pitch as well. Um, you know, at least not shackled as much as he is where he's restricted. But the only person that could really come on and, and, and play in the sitting position is, is probably Trevor Chaloba. Um, you know, it's probably the only person that could come in and do that. Oh my God, Kepa. Oh, Kepa, Kepa, please do not ever in your life do that again. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Manini gifted William. We already gave William a gift in the away game. We're going to try and give him another gift in the home game. Ziesh, come on. Oh my God. Oh. Sometimes I wonder to myself, would I actually prefer to see Ziyech do exactly what he just did? Finish, finish, finish. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my days. I was just about to finish my sentence and then he already did what I wanted him to do. I was just about to say, sometimes I wish, I wonder if I actually would wish to see Ziyech come off the touchline a bit more. And roam more centrally so he can at least try and show some range in his passing. And then he literally picks up the ball centrally like that. Plays a brilliant ball into Kai, who goes for the lob. It's a good effort. Oh, it hits the post. Oh, my days, man. We are so close. It's, I think it's a save from the goalkeeper. Not gonna, you can't get a Kai for that one. That was actually a good effort. Goalkeeper got a bit of touch on it. Oh, man. Right before half time as well would have been the perfect time to score. Nah, man, Potter ain't gonna last. Why is Enzo so deep in midfield? It's like he runs to, he likes to run forward. What the hell is this, bro? I told you, I, I told you about Enzo. Like, obviously, I would like to see him higher, but you know, there's no DM he feels available as well. So you're looking at, um, you're looking at maybe playing him as a, as a as a six until someone like Sakari is back or. Maybe Andres, Andre Santos, if they if they feel like they can afford to play him in a game. But he's not a six for me as well. He's more of a box-to-box. -box. For me, I, like I said, I would have done anything anything necessary to get him into the higher positions. Like Even if you have to play a, play a, a, a Trevor in there, um, maybe, you know, obviously I thought Ruben was going to be available. Ruben's not even on the bench. Ruben, I'd never play as a sitter, but I'd have him in a double maybe. But I don't know, man. It's just, it's just half time. It's just, it's just mad. Oh, oh God. I'm not bringing that super chat back. I know what you men are asking for, but it's a bit mad. <laughs> half time, nil, nil. Um, yeah, we need to, we need to do better. We really, really need to do better. I need to see um, a substitution for either um, Mount or Gallagher. Um, some people are saying Ziesh. I would leave Ziyech for now. For now, give it maybe 10 more minutes because he, I feel like if he does get involved more, I do think his passing, the range that he has could give us something. But I need to see I need to see Mount or Gallagher in particular come off. I feel like the, the midfield, again, there's just a lack of a lack of creativity in there for me. You know, when you've got Enzo that deep, 
you're you're saying to Enzo, you have to do long range passes, and he's already shown he's going to do that. He's switched to play. He's created an, He's created, I think, maybe one or two opportunities. But when you punch the ball higher up, if Enzo says, "Okay, I'm going to punch the ball into Mount and Gallagher," they're not giving me nothing on the ball. They're not giving me anything. You know, Mount and Gallagher, they're in this game. Mount, to be fair, has created one big chance, one massive chance for for Kai. But a couple of other moments could have been better. Gallagher, first touch. What's going on for you, mate? Like, what is going on with your first touch? You, you, you're in advanced areas, and your first touch is not certain. So, yeah, it's it's a bit mad. Need to get Mudrik on the ball a lot more as well. So, um, yeah, man. Just for me right now, there there needs to be a change in that in that midfield. Um, Oh, this person saying, as a Mount hater, at least he belongs on the bench. I cannot believe how bad Kai Havertz, Ziyech, Gallagher are so bad. Lord, what have I done to deserve this? Um, it's a madness in terms of in terms of um, some of the performances. I think Gallagher for me, I just I just struggle sometimes, man. What like what are we really getting here in terms of the quality? We need more quality on the ball. I get it. I know he loves Chelsea. I get it. I love Chelsea too. You don't see me playing in the, you don't see me in the half spaces trying to create chances, do you? With with loose first touches, you don't see it. I love Chelsea, and you guess where I am? I'm at home, <laughs> watching the game, talking to talking to you guys about it. We all love Chelsea, um, but on the ball, we have to demand much better, much better. Um, Arteta really tricked you into getting Madrid for a hundred million. Um, you so you probably were crying about not getting him. Now you switch up on him. I get it, man. The game is the game. The game is the game. Um, yeah, <laughs> bro. If you're watching, if you're listening to the game on radio, and you're and you're waiting for Mudrick's name to be said, I understand that you've not heard his name. Um, because yeah, we're not we're not actually um, unfortunately we're not getting the ball to him. So we're not getting the ball to him. We're struggling in that in that in that side of things and. I would love for us to get the ball to him a lot more. But like I said earlier, Reese James is on the right. And when Reese James is on, we always naturally seem to funnel the ball out to the right, which is fair. He's he's one of our best players. But there does need to be a lot more balance. But as I was saying during the game, Mudrik needs to be a lot higher. If he's dropping deep on the halfway line, receiving it, and then he's got the whole defensive shape to turn to, it's not really ideal. The, the, what you want is someone punching the ball to him in an advanced area so he can go up against someone 1v1 and then cause problems. And a lot of people would have said this is what's been highlighted as an issue anyway with maybe Pulisic and Sterling, etc., having them to come too deep to receive the ball. And it's happened many times with quite a few wingers. For me, like I said, I need to see Gallagher and Mason Mount progressing that ball a lot better. Mount has had a couple of moments, one, two here. There's opportunity for Havertz there. Gallagher, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not seeing it as much. Um, you're saying Gallagher's been good. I don't know what game people are watching. Mount, Sterling, um, Ziyech, um, uh, Madueki. You're asking for those changes, Midoeki. Um, Kai Havertz probably also needs to be subbing off at, at 70 minutes. Um, fair enough. I, I would disagree. I don't think Gallagher's been good personally, but you know, um, everybody's watching the game in a different way in terms of the viewpoint. Um, let's see. Uh, next super chat. Okay, cool. You missed my last super chat. Please read, but this is why Chelsea fans were confused with the sign of Madrid because he doesn't suit y'all. Um, you guys only happy you got him because it was from Arsenal. Um, I already said I don't know the player in and out when we signed him because he was an Arsenal target. I wasn't tracking him. So I'm just, you know, just hoping that the recruitment team have got it spot on. It's too early for me to be judging at all. Too early for anybody to be judging unless they got an agenda. And of course, some people do. And he's a you know, rival and whatnot. So I understand. But I'm not going to be judging Mudrik um, in his second game because he's not getting enough of the ball at Fulham. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be I'm going to be leaving it a lot longer than that. Um Get both eights out. Nonsense. No creativity. Only headless chicken. Should just join Marathon. Um, <laughs> mad. <laughs> Very ruthless. Save the bridge. New 23, um, 24. GoFundMe target. Um, 700 million. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's going to be a long game, isn't it, if we don't score? Um, let's see. Super Potter. Um, Pat and play stopped Fulham scoring. Sorry if I've missed any Super Chats. Let me scroll up. Um, let's see. Um, they're calling him Pop Graham Popper. Is that what you're saying in the chat? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. It's a long day. Um, 
Let's see, let's see. Sorry, just scrolling back. Bring me Arteta, says Tuchel Ban. Players are very far from each other, especially in midfield. There's a lot of people in the chat. Apologies. Good half, I can't lie. I'd say it's a decent half. We have created some opportunities. We have seen some good stuff from Enzo. We have seen that there's a couple rusty players in Reese, etc. I say decent, but you know, decent is not enough. If we if we keep playing decent, we probably draw, right? We need to win. Um zero shots on target in 45 minutes home to Fulham. Yeah, it's giving um it's giving city vibes, isn't it? To be honest. <laughs> um let's see, let's see, let's see. It's giving city, man. It's giving city. Oh man. Okay, cool. Um, let me just keep scrolling. This is a, this is a long day. Uh, Baddy Ishile is a composure merchant. Just wait for the bozo gene to catch him. My brother, they all start off like this composure. Mm, sports capital. Mm. Listen again. I don't know the player in and out. I had a player special with Joe Tweedy, and and again, I hope I hope he I hope he does well. Um, something has to give. This is outrageous. Fossil football 2.0, like Nando's, only in blue. Um, from Ash. I feel like I feel the pressure in here. That it's really hot in this room. In in this live chat, it's really hot. You guys are um, you're not allowing anything to run, and I hear it. I hear it. You're not letting anything run. I hear it. Um, but it's definitely hot in this room. Definitely hot in this chat. Um, yeah, people are not taking. They're not taking no for an answer. They want to see the super team perform. I hear it. We all want to see it. <sighs> um, okay, let's see. What else is being said? <laughs> oh, goodness. Matt, I can't lie. Enzo is smelling like a light. Bakioko. Dead emoji. You're definitely a rival. Yeah, not watching. Said is a menace with his latest tweet. I'll be looking at it in a minute. West London... Um, Tory Blue Cowboys mid at the at their brothel. Um, we can't have Mount and Havertz on the field at the same time. Expect a goal and expect a goal. But listen, they're 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 playing different roles. I think Kai Kai's got to finish right. You man are dead, says Emmanuel. Um, you got listen. When it comes to Kai, Kai's playing up front. Kai's not a clinical finisher. That's a that's a whole different conversation. Mount's in the team to create chances, to progress the ball, to link up the play, to take it from the second phase through to the third phase. That's how I see Mount's position. They're both doing two different jobs. Um, for me, I don't think Mount's doing enough out there. He hasn't switched to play enough, as he should. Um, he's had one chance that he's created with the with a ball across the box, but I think most of that credit in that move will go to Enzo for the pass because it was a more difficult pass. And yes, Mount plays it across, good, but it wasn't a difficult pass. Um, or at least it was. It was. It was not overly difficult. It was just. A, it was a good pass. Um, we need to see more. We need to see much more. You can't say that you've created one moment like that with a ball across the box to Kai and, and that's it. You know, I need more. I need to see Gallagher do a hell of a lot better in his position. I still have hope that Ziyech can actually do something um, in, in in this. But, you know, like I said, he, he we need to see more. We need to see much, much more. Um, Uh, you are making excuses. I'm a Chelsea fan. I've had enough. <laughs> Potter starts. Mount, Ziyech, Gallagher, Kai Havertz. Sack him now. Um, I'm guessing you wanted Fofana to start. Um, Carney, I, I would have liked to have seen start for sure. I've, I've said that before. I said that in my preview. In my preview, I had Carney starting. I had uh, Madueki up in the right position as well. Um, in the right flank. I didn't have Gallagher playing either. Um, so I get the frustration with seeing these guys. Um, if we had a full strength, you know, in terms of Kovar was fit, Kante was fit and, and and he still played them, I'd be even more annoyed. But yes, I, I think for me, I always expect to see at the moment one of them, purely because that, from a selection standpoint, we're having a, a moment in midfield where there's not all too many options. But to see both of them is a bit mad for me. I'm not going to lie. To see both of them, I, I don't think it's necessary. I think you say you see one and, and you move on. Um, to see both of them, I think, is overkill. And I personally, I'm not here for it um, at the moment with the way that they're playing. And with the attributes that they possess or the, the attributes that they're showing, they do very similar right now of the same thing. Both of them are going to press. Both of them are going to work extremely hard. Both of them are going to try and win the ball out the pitch. But neither of them are giving us any sort of final edge cutting pass. And for me, for me, if you're going to have two eights 
in the team in a 4 3 3. I need one of those eights to be much better from a passing perspective and a hell of a lot more creative. 100%. They need to be taking more responsibility on that side of things. If you're going to play two eights, one of them, usually it should be both, but one of them has to be a lot more creative. And these two right now are not, are not giving me that vibe as much as I need to see it. Um, Nunzonzi and Zombele. Lakonga is long. Yeah, you guys are you guys are on your on your on your on your madness right now. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're here for the long term here. So I'm 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 investing in all stocks. Um, do you think this is a pot of trying to keep the players happy that they didn't get a move by starting them? It needs to be more ruthless. I guess you're talking about in 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 regards to Ziesh. I think Ziesh seems to be okay from what I can see in images, etc. He seems to be pretty happy. Um, he seems to have maybe gotten over it. Um, if, if he wasn't, then I'm sure he wouldn't be playing. But in terms of keeping people happy, Aubameyang's not in the squad, so he's not trying to keep him happy. So he has made a mark on that one. So listen, Ziyech has been very good in the last couple of games. Um, and I feel like, yes, you know, he is a player that is probably wanting to leave. He is a player that we tried to get rid of, but he is a player that has deserved to be in the lineup, I would say, over the last couple of matches. So I'm not gonna be too confused that he's that he's in there based on form. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm still I'm still okay with that. I'm still I'm still okay with that. But if it doesn't change, you know, if things don't change, and, and like I said, he is very predictable, and I say this a lot. Um, he is very easy to read as a defender. He's not the quickest. He's not right footed. He's not can't use his right foot. So he's not the quickest. He's he's very one footed. So you know when Ziyech receives the ball, he's going to turn onto his left, and he's gonna and he's gonna look to do something with it. Um, and as long as you can cut that out and understand that and act on that, then you're then you're swimming. You're absolutely you're 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 you're, you're flying. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> <clears throat> 3.5k ready to cook big up everybody <clears throat> in the chat smash up the likes um substitutions i'm gonna run a poll i'm gonna run a poll of who you guys would like to bring on as the first sub 59 percent of people voted for a chelsea win 25 percent for a fulham and a draw was at 16 percent. that's the poll Five thousand plus votes on that i am now going to run another poll for first substitution. If you were the manager, if you were the manager, I have to make that very specific. Um, first sub on. And I'm just going to go through a list of names. I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to say who's coming off because then it becomes too difficult for people to, um, I don't have enough options in the poll, to be honest, to, to say the variations of substitutions we could do. So I'm just going to say who you would bring on. Um, apparently he's coming on now, but well, that'd be absolutely fantastic to hear. If, if, if Medawecki's coming on right now, that's great. Bring him on. I'm going to still ask though for you, for you guys' opinion on this. Bring him on. Uh, I had him starting. Maybe that's, that's, that's a good thing. Maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. He might not be ready. Let's see if he acclimatizes. He's young. You know, he's young. Let's see what he does. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing him though. Um, so that's the poll up now. He's coming on. Um, so let's see. Madrid has been taken off at half time. That's not good for the for the online. It's gonna be mad. Yeah, they're gonna cook him. They're gonna cook him, but here's where it is. We move. <clears throat> they're gonna cook the crap out of him. <laughs> He's been hooked at half time. Cool. Let's go. 45 minutes for each. Mm -hmm. Why is... Why is William at that age such a problem for us? <laughs> 
I don't get it. He skipped past all three of our midfielders at his age. It's insane. At his age, he skipped past all three of them, just like that. See Lee Gunner in the chat. Listen, Mudrick's off at half time. We're just giving 45 minutes each to the young to the young wingers. We're just trying to make sure we share out the love. It's not that deep. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. We're just making sure that everybody gets a bit of game time. So Gallagher's come off as well. For who? No, Gallagher's still on. Gallagher's still on, guys. He hasn't come off. Adrian says Mudrick can be taken off, um, yet we are subjected to subjected, yeah, subject to uh, have us and Mount um, consistently playing. For fuck's sake, Potter is starting to piss me off. Shit, let me get the timer up as well. Oh, my bad. Oh. It wasn't what I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be very honest with you. I wasn't expecting that sub. I know he had a very quiet half, but he didn't exactly receive the ball in many areas that were in any sort of danger whatsoever. He didn't really receive the ball in good areas. Um, the game is the game. Okay. Come on. I just need to win. I don't really care about all of these other things, to be honest. These are all minor things for me personally. I know people will run their, their agendas, but for me, it's very minor. I don't mind um, if Mudrik has had a quiet game and he's he's off to a slow start in his first home game. Um, I prefer that Gallagher or Mount would have come off. But again, I'm expecting Carney to be warming up soon if these lot don't step it up in the first 10 minutes. I just need us to win the game. I just need us to win the damn game. It's as simple as that. Win the damn game. Silver, come on, play it. We need to we need to move this ball around quickly, man. Come on. Kepa. <clears throat> no. <sighs> Enzo was first for everything in that first half. Touches, possession one. All that. But um I wish it was. I wish it was more attacking stats I was looking at because that's what that's what it's all about. When you pay that kind of money for a player, you always want to make sure that it's for attacking reasons, really. Yeah, Mudrick's come off. Mudrick's come off for um, Mudoweki. Let's see. Silva, James. <sighs> come on, guys, man! Come on! I need more. I need I need this to be very very serious. Now I'm getting stressed again. I was not stressed before, and now I'm stressed again. Back to back to reality, I guess, with with the stress levels. <sighs> Play it. Good pass from Bali Ishile. Oh, for God's sake, Mount. Is that Mount on the floor? Oh my goodness. Ball in. Oh my God, Jesus Christ. God. Oh, what I don't need right now is Mitrovic out of nowhere. That's what I don't need. Mount, it, that was very weak. Was it Was it not? Did that not feel very weak to just fall over there? I didn't see enough contact really personally from that first replay. Come on, man. I don't know. I don't know how they're both still on. Enzo. Poor pass. Gallagher. Better. Come on. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Ref. I'm 
I'm telling you, I take him off. I take them both off, to be honest. I said one, and now I'm just ready to take them both off. I think I can't remember if I said take them both off or what. But bro, I was ready to take them both off. Yeah, Medeweki left wing's a bit confusing to me. Big I appreciate the super chat, Peter. Um, yeah, M Madueki at left at left wing. Uh, from what I know, he's a right winger. That's all I've seen of him is at right wing. So a bit strange. Bit very strange from Potter. He's checking for a red card for serious um serious foul play. And he's not gonna send him off. Um that's a weird that's a weird decision, bro. Like that's just strange. Why why would you put him on the on the left? He's a right winger. Now, unless you're doing it to create width, you know, because you're putting a left foot on the left flank. Okay, let's see him look. Okay, he's he's driving with the ball. That's good. Is he gonna do a Leroy Sane type performance? What's the, what's the plan here? Let's see if he stretches out the pitch. Because we could do with a little bit more gaps in between the lines. It is a bit narrow in terms of Ziesh cutting inside, making things very narrow. There's not a lot of space. It's very um good defensive shape that, that they've got. Fulham. So maybe he's gone with Madueki to come on instead of Mudrick. So we don't have another player cutting inside. He might have brought him on to just add a bit of width. Let's see. If he's a really good crosser of the ball as well, which I don't know how good of a crosser he is. If he is a good crosser, then he might be going for an aerial threat for Kai Havertz as well, um, who has scored a couple headers here and there. So let's see what the plan is before I overly critique. But obviously, I'm not used to him playing him on the. I'm not used to him playing on the the left wing at all. James. Okay. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Kukurea is not overlapping exactly. That's my thing. So that's why I don't want to get like too reactionary about that substitution, even though it's a strange one, because Kukurea is not great at overlapping. If, if anything, maybe Kukurea needs to become an inverted fullback at the moment and, and more cut inside and be central and play progressive passes. When he was first, when he first came in, is he was really progressive in his play. He was really smooth passing, so he had no problem with that. So maybe it's better, actually, to tuck in Kukurea, get him alongside Enzo for the transitions, let Madueki come pull out to the left, give a bit of width, add a bit of space. But you still, for me, need to be looking at Mount and Gallagher, what we're doing there. Because if you're going to create that space, cool, they're going to get more, hopefully more time, but they need to deliver. So that is what it's all about, is creating that space for them. But they need to deliver. Obviously, Ziyech is tucking in as well. So that might be tactically what he's trying to do. But if you see people are not performing in those in those critical areas, do something. Here's Gallagher. Good. That's better. Ball in. Yes. Yeah. Oh, almost. 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 That's better. Ah. Oh, got around the back of him there, Reese James. Much better. Good ball in. Damn. Damn. Thought Madueki would be on the end of that. When do we question Potter? Poor in game management, sometimes doing the basic thing is key, motivating and protecting players from scrutiny, especially when they are out of form. It's been months. I would have liked, I would have liked um, a couple of players, yeah, like like Mason to be out there for me personally, in terms of you know on the bench scrutiny wise. I hear that, definitely hear that. That's a that's that's something that I've got a problem with at the moment. Because he's not playing any better. He's not getting any better. So why does he keep playing? Um, nah, Potter is tapped if he uses uh, Madueki on the left. Uh, Mudrik had an away ticket and is driving to Everton. Oh, Lord Jesus. You got jokes. You got jokes. This tactic is actually better. He removed Mudrik. You guys go and you guys go crazy. Listen. Yeah, let's, let's see what... Because like I said, what I've explained there, in my opinion, that's what the logic is, right? We're very narrow. We're very congested. We're not getting any space. And then and, and the players that don't play well in a lack of space are in the eight positions right now. They're very erratic, Mount and Gallagher. So we need to create more space for them to have more time. So we're trying to add width. And that's what I think we're doing. And we're not overlapping with Kukurea anyway. Someone said it brilliantly. He's not overlapping. He's not giving us an outlet. He's not crossing the ball in. So you may as well get a left footer out there maybe, give a bit of width, cross the ball from him and let Kukurea come in and deal with transitions on the... Or alongside uh, Enzo, use him as a Zianchenko or some sort of inverted left back Camavinga at Real Madrid. Use him that, use him like that. 
So let's see if it works. He's just pulled out of that one. Bailed. Come on. Let's see. Come on. Come on. I need a win. I need that. You see this? I need the pressing from the front. If Fulham have the ball, and maybe we would do better to let, have, let Fulham have the ball a little bit more, and then let's press in an organised fashion. Because I said it already in the first half. If you've got Gallagher and Mason Mount in the eights, I'm sorry. I'm expecting the most disgusting counter-press I've ever seen in my life in terms of disgustingly good. I'm expecting that counter-press to, to make me suffocate in my own bedroom. I'm expecting to have to get up, open my bedroom window, yeah, or my, or my studio window, and be gasping for air. That's how good the counter-press should be. I should be feeling it through the TV screen. That's how good it should be. I should be struggling in my room to breathe with that counter-press. There's no excuse for the counter-press not to be on point with them two. That's the one thing I will say. So I'm expecting to win the ball, hype the pitch, turn over the ball, and we go and create opportunities. That's what I want. And if we ain't getting that, then we need to change it. So we need to start moving really quick. I actually didn't see your comment, Jason, but if you said similar, then that's that's fantastic. We're thinking along the same lines. Can you see a 1-0 Fulham win? Scared, man. Um, I could see anything. Man said pause a bit. <laughs> SE Dons could give Chelsea a game. Oh my goodness. Listen, when it's 0 0, anything can happen. So, of course, we can see 1 0. I can see 1 0 to either team. Game's in the balance. Game is in the balance, which is why those chances missed in the first half, again, they weren't all easy chances. I get that, but we've got to take them. We've got to take one of them because we put ourselves in a position where something can happen that's not very good. Mount's frustrated. Great. That's not going to help us, brother, though. I'm not going to lie. Your quality on the ball, though, definitely will. So let's, let's, let's keep our heads in the game. All of this anger and emotion, you know, it's not going to get us points, unfortunately. Passion doesn't mean points. I need, I need passing, not passion. <laughs> I need passing right now. So look at Kukurel. I want you guys to look at Kukurel. You see how he was just kind of forming a little double with uh, Enzo there in, on, in, on, the, on the ball. And then the centre-backs, obviously Reese James would effectively become a right-side centre-back. Badia Shile pulls out to the left, back three. Um, we've seen that loads of times, City and Arsenal. Kukurel a little bit more. But we, we don't do it as, like, we don't mean it as well when we do it. Oh my God, I swear to God if they score. Don't even think about it. We don't, we don't, we're not as, yeah, we're not as like cutthroat with it. If we're going to do that, do it. But we're kind of like flirting with it. Enzo is there with Kukurea, but then Kukurea comes back out. Like, if you're going to do it, do it. Do it. And do it well. More than enough ball progression in Reese James and Badia Shile, there should be anyway, if they're wide centre backs for a minute. I don't know, man. These tactics just ain't it. I get the midfield is poor, but surely by now you should be able to see implementing improvement. I just don't see it. <sighs> he just needs to stop playing these two together right now. I keep saying it. Like, I don't want to see them playing together. I, I actually didn't even in want to see either of them in the preview, you know? But people in the comments, you know, when I do the preview, I get my teams, by the way, my teams are not predicted teams. I know they don't look realistic. That's the point. My team is the team I would like to see. I think that's more, more interesting than trying to guess what Potter's going to do, right? Um, I dropped them both. I know they're senior players now, or one of them is. I wouldn't say Gallagher is yet. Way too early for that. And I know dropping them was like, a wow, how are you going to take both of them out of the team? But this is why. This is why I would take both of them out of the team, because it's just so easy for me to do it. When I watch them, I don't really see what I'm missing right now. I'm, I'm very comfortable taking them out of the team and moving on with my day. Doesn't doesn't it doesn't really hurt me. Um 
Madueki, well done. It's good. Kokorea. He's looked sharp since he come on. Sterling's come on now as well. Good stuff. Sterling's going to go to the left. So we've kind of abandoned that whole principle of touchline wingers, but it is what it is. Here's Aspie. So Aspie's come on for James before he got potentially injured. So that's fair, fair game. Gallagher, I need a long ranger from you, man, to make up for anything else. Kokorea, Sterling. Come on, guys. I can smell it. I can smell something. We're cooking. Come on, we're cooking something. Mason, cook something. Okay, this is good. Sterling, I'm telling you, Sterling is my guy. Let's go. Jamaicans, let's go. I got my... I got my... I got my food right here, brother, for you. Come on. I'm supporting. I need you to come on and do something for me today. Oh, my goodness. Bruh, Sterling just tried a scissor kick. Lord Jesus. Did you see that? He just tried to do a scissor kick. In mid-air, in mid-flight, this guy. Oh, my God. In mid-flight. In mid-flight. Oh, my God. Bro, he's going to break his back. Be careful out there, Raheem. You just come back from injury. Man's out here. <laughs> Got a new hairdo. Thinks he's on some smoke. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I got my Jamaican patty ready to go for Raheem to cook. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm manifesting Raheem's man of the match display coming off the bench. I'm manifesting it. I'm manifesting the Raheem Sterling comeback with my Jamaican cuisines ready to go on the plate, tucking in. I'm eating before the meal's even arrived. You see that? I'm eating before the meal's even arrived. Sterling, <gasps> almost. You see this? Don't count this guy out. He's got something for us, man. He's got something for us. He overcooked that pass a bit, but it is where it is. The intention is, is, is good. Let's keep going now. Keep going. It was overcooked a bit. It wasn't. That wasn't really on Mount. That was just an overhit pass. Mmm. Come on. Mm. I feel like the more the more bites I take, the more some of these players they ruin my appetite. The passing is just so bad. It's so bad. Why is it only we can see this together? Why is it when I say this on Twitter, people lose their minds? Do you see this? We all, we all see this level of passing, right? Undercooked, overcooked. When are you going to get it just right? You know, if this was Goldilocks and the Free Bears, we'd be here all day long. We would be here all day long. Because it's never going to be just right, is it? It's never going to be just right. It's always got to be overcooked or undercooked or overcooked or undercooked. You can't just have it just right. Just once. One time. Just play the pass properly. Lord Jesus, man. It's every day with these two. Every day. Every motherfucking day. With these guys. Do you not get tired of under hitting passes or overcooking them? Do you not get tired? Are you not tired? And this is why I want Enzo in the eight. Because I'm bored shitless of us progressing the play at last. We finally get into the advanced areas. And instead of Enzo playing the pass, I'm seeing Gallagher playing the pass again. I don't want to see Gallagher play in the pass. I've seen him doing it all season. I'm tired. I want to see Enzo passing in the final third. That's how we're going to create clear-cut opportunities. Enzo, higher up the pitch. So, no, I don't want him at six. I don't want him at six. I don't need him to be our Jorginho. I don't need that. I need him to be in the final third, or at least given the opportunity to get there. Lord have mercy. 
I did not spend, we did not spend all this money to watch Gallagher passing like this. I'm sorry, we did not. I'm eating a patty, Jamaican patty. I'm trying to manifest a sterling man of the match performance. You know, I'm just manifesting it. I'm eating the meal before he's even delivered. You know, I just, I have confidence in him to do something off the bench for us right now. Sub on Cedric so he can teach Mudrick some manners. This is, this is on par. He's clueless. Um, ah. Listen, I, I, I don't get his insistence on playing these two together as well. Like, if you're going to play one because you rate what they produce for you in certain aspects of the game off the ball, fair enough. But can we get one, one eight, please, with a bit of vision today? Can we get one eight with a little bit of creativity in their lungs? Just one. That's all I'm asking for. Carney still chilling on the bench. Still. 66 minutes in. We need a goal. How many substitutes have we made? We made Sterling. Madueki's come on. Asper the Quetta's come on. Three subs, right? Yeah, three subs have been made. Let's make it four. Let's make it four. Oh. Um, it's actually not a chicken or beef one. It's actually a okay. Um, it's actually a saltfish one. Selfish one. But I've got other ones as well in the in the fridge. I got um I got a beef one, I got chicken, I got jerk chicken. I love the jerk chicken ones. The jerk I think the jerk chicken ones are the best ones. I really do. The jerk chicken ones are really nice. Enzo in the first phase, all well and good. Yeah, saltfish patty, yeah, yeah. They're clapped. <laughs> Veggies better. Now you know what? Yeah, I I, I love them. I love them. But I'm, I'm very big on fish in general. I like fish. Fish is always a go-to for me. Um, I love sushi as well. Like, I'm just... Seafood. When it comes to seafood, I haven't really met my match. Even some madness that people would be like, yo, there's no way I'm eating that. I'll, I've, I haven't met my match in seafood yet. Have some shame. Cheesy beef is my favourite. See how we're talking patties now. This is what we're having to do. We can't even focus on this game because this game is moving mad. <sighs> wow. Saltfish fritters, I've had them, yeah. Saltfish fritters are clear. They're clear of saltfish patties, 100%. That's, that's not even a competition. Saltfish fritters are goated. Absolutely goated. 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 Don't even, don't even do this to me because I'm going to go on a rant. Yeah, 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 mad. Saved. Come on. Come on. I need more. I need a goal. Please do not have me here stressed again. Just one day can I get. One day. Can I get one day of peace? Saved by Kepa. Straight at him again. We're, we're playing with fire here, people. Sterling. Enzo switches it. Oh no! See now he's not doing this thing. Here comes the con. Here comes the um. Oh my God, Kepa! <laughs> Yo, did you see what they tried to do to Kepa? Oh my God, was that Mitrovic that shot? Was that Mitrovic? Yo, they tried to catch Kepa out. They told Kepa to come outside. Oh my goodness. Brother, they tried to tell Kepa to come outside. No, brother. You have to be careful, you know. These, brother, this game is in the... Bro, this, this game should not be in the balance, but it is. Oh, my God. I just need a win, man. I'm still discussing the problems regardless whether we win or not. I've seen enough of this match now for there to be plenty of problems to discuss with the context. Um, but there's problems to discuss at full time in the review. But I need the win. I need the win. Silver, Silver's left foot passing. Is that Baddy Shaley? Is that Billy? Oh my God, Sterling. Ugh. Is that was that 
Barry Shile was it? I think it was Raheem Sh- Raheem Shillings. Uh, Mitrovic, yeah, Mitrovic. Look at look at Kepo. Woo! Hmm. Careful. It was going in. Potter is not the man. Tuchel Band says. Chelsea last good game was four 0 against Juventus twenty twenty one. Since then, downward trajectory. <sighs> that was a great game. Good pass, Kepa. Good Gallagher. Come on, Kai. It's a good, good pass from Gallagher. Make sure I have to say that. Oh my god, Enzo. Shot from distance. <gasps> oh, oh, shit! That was close. Oh. Do you see why I want him higher up the pitch? Can you imagine if he was on the edge of the box more often? We would have scored by now. Do you see what I'm saying? That can't be his first shot of the game. He needs to be higher up the pitch. I need to see him on the edge of the box, pinging these shots. Oh, my God. So close. That would have been an unbelievable goal. Imagine having someone who can shoot like that. You got them as a six. People say we're going to ruin football. You're damn right we are. We are going to ruin football. That's going to be the title. Chelsea are here to ruin football. Literally. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Here's Sterling. Okay, what we got? What you got for me? What Mason, please. Oh, unlucky, unlucky, unlucky. That's better. This is much better. Come on, guys. Come on. This is better. I need to see more of this. I need to see more of this. I need to see more of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. We don't have a, a DM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear it. Come on. Corner. Corner, 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 corner. All in, cleared, mount. Gallagher, throw in. Let me just eat some of the, the patty every time I take a bite. Corner again. What's that? Oh my god. <sighs> Substitutions. <clears throat> Why is Gallagher taking corners? I'm crying. I said Mudrick. Not Mid oh you said midrick that's not very that's not very nice. Jesus Christ. You said midrick. Oh god. <sighs> can I can I can I can I can I have food as well, maybe? I know you know, maybe can I can I have a meal? Can I have a wonderful meal? You see how much content I do? Can I can I have a meal? Maybe? Can I have a wonderful meal? Yeah. You want me to starve to death? Chin up. Yeah, hundred percent, bro. Hundred percent. Man don't want me to shrivel up and die or something. 15 minutes to go. Jesus, this is getting mad. 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 Please, 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 please just find a way. Mounts come off for Fofana. Cool. Okay. Can you do me one more with Gallagher and Carney, please? One more. Get Carney. Get Carney onto this pitch for Gallagher. And then we're we're moving. 
I'm telling you, last 15, let's get it done, man. Don't worry about the consequences. Don't worry about anything else. Please just get it done for me. Big up for the work rate, for real. Where's the 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 uh, where's the where's cocoa bread, though? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Zero shots on target. Is that actually a true stat? It probably is, isn't it? Because I'm trying to think of when we had a shot on target, and I can't think of one. I can't think of one. No. Havoc's hit the post, isn't it? That's as close as it's come. Kokorea? Oh, my God. Oh, agonizingly painful. So painful. Please. You're on your way home trying to catch the game. Believe me, bro. Do not rush. <laughs> Where was Cookie Cuckoo Tuku by? Guys, awful. Chili come back. Cookerail. I don't know what's going on there. But I take Mourinho back. No, not at the moment. Not at all. Gallagher. I would not take Mourinho back. We're not talking about emotions here. We're talking about football. Gallagher. We've had one shot on target. And they've had four. They've had four shots on target. We've had one. At the moment, we don't even deserve. We don't even deserve. Are you going to amortise a, a, a goal? Please, can we get Carney on, man? I'm seriously not playing around now. Just get Carney on and go all at it, man. Please. Because he could change the game. He could, he, could, he, could, he could bring a little bit of life into this thing. Gallagher. Good. Kai, better. What you got? Oh, my days. Gallagher with the shot, yes? Oh. <sighs> Didn't catch it cleanly. Close. Very close, actually. Closer than I thought. But not enough. Come on, man. What manager would you take? I'm not. I'm not at that. I'm not at that place right now, bro. I know you are, but I'm not. So, go on, Fafana. Yes, yes. Go on. Oh, Fafana. Oh, what block? Oh my days. He's pissed. What a block from Reem. What a block from Reem. Oh, man. So, Gallagher, you can pass, my brother. So, let's do it a lot more often than in it. Look at that. Good pass. Reem blocked. Blocked on the line. <sighs> he needed to get some lift on it, man. He needed to get some lift on that. Should be scoring that. Get some lift on it. It's a good, good pass from Gallagher. Two good passes in a row. Crazy. <sighs> Can't lie, you're sounding a bit panicky. Super chat. Um... More than you can believe. More than you can believe. More than you can believe. We, we need a goal. More than you can believe. So, yeah. There is a bit of panic setting in. 
I mean, I need, we need to win. I've said it already. It was W settings only. That's, that's, that's how I said it. And that's what I meant. I meant it when I said it. Do you know what I'm saying? I didn't say it for no reason. We need to win the game. 100%. Like, we don't win the game. What are we really doing here? Do you know what I mean? We need to win the game, man. Mad, too many haters in the chat. 600 million is spent well to get one point against teams like Fulham that are four places higher. They don't understand business. LR. Oh. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm not expecting them to be here for the for for the, for the, for that. I'm, I'm expecting them to be here every time we drop a point. They will be here no matter what, and that is understandable. You know, I hear it. I know it's gonna happen. They will be here no matter what. Every singular point we drop, every move we make, every step we take, they'll be watching us. Do you understand? That's just where it is. Oh my goodness. Brother, if we lose this, you know, I swear to God, I might actually break something. I'm just looking around what I can afford to break if we lose, just in case. <sighs> They're saying um, amortize the points. We will. <laughs> we will, actually. Instead of getting three points now, we're going to get one, and we're going to get one next game, and one the next game. So we will amortize them points. <laughs> it's exactly what we will do. <laughs> amortize FC. Mm. It's getting really long now. I can smell it. And it's not a good smell. I can smell the BS from here, man. I can smell the BS from here, man. 50 million per point. It's expensive. It's expensive. 50 million per point. These lot have to find a goal. They have to. They have to. Enzo. Good. Kukurea. Oh, I can't watch this play down the left-hand side any longer. It's so, so bad. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's actually criminal what's going on down the left-hand side. Where is, where is the saviour for this? Don't spend money. Don't spend any more money. <clears throat> Ian Matson. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Recall him. <laughs> What is going on, man? Oh my goodness. Oh. Please. Please, ma'am. Please. I, I don't I don't pray off for them, but this is a moment where I'm gonna do it because I need I need I need this ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is starting to go the way it shouldn't go, man. This is starting to go left. This is going left, man. This is going left. I can, uh, it's just getting, it's getting a bit mad now. It's going a bit left. It's going very, very left. These men are playing like they're playing in Air Forces, man. 
They're playing like they're in they're in white air forces. That's how they're playing, man. With JD bags at the back. Them strap bags. You know them JD bags that you just strap on and you put the rucksack on, bro. I've seen man them playing clocks and play better than some of these guys. And I'm talking about not the new guys, I'm talking more about the guys that I've they've been here for the new for the longest, man. Why, bro, this team's chemistry is mad, mad bad. Oh my goodness, nobody knows anything about where anybody else is. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is awful. This, this is, um, these men have been struggling. These men have been struggling. They, they can't, they can't seem to, um, they can't seem to put anything together. Not even a single move. They can't seem to put a single move in together. They can't put a move. I'm just asking for a man them to string a few passes together. Put together a couple moves, please. Put together a couple moves. And now Chilwell's come on. Final sub, Chilwell. For the final five minutes. This is crazy, man. That we're not... We're not winning right now. Struggling again. Struggling. Two weeks break, hundred percent, man. I didn't expect it to be perfect, but this is this is another level of madness. Enzo, Gallagher, oh my god! Come on, guys! There's only three minutes left. Can we move the ball a bit quicker, please? Come on! Oh Jesus Christ, Joe! Oh, it's, this is so stinky. This is so stinky, man. So stinky. Man, never asked me why I say we got to walk before we can run, bro. <laughs> man, they want me to start making top four predictions and that. Can't even win a football match. Can't even win a game. Let's win a game first. Can we please walk before we can run? I just want to see three points. See something fresh. I want to see something different. Haven't seen that. Just trying to get to the 40 point mark. I'm genuinely being serious at this point. It's mad. You might want to start hoping that Fulham don't snatch this late on. I might want to start praying that the F1 comes back quickly. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton, I hope that's a good card that you got this season, man. Adi Ashile, up to Fofana. Oh, we're so weak. We're so weak. And it's mad because this time when we drop points, we don't get to spend any more money after the match to buy somebody. The transfer window closed, fam. Can't even buy someone to make ourselves feel better. This is crazy. We're going to have to just firm a result like this without no, no transfer. Usually we get someone else in. It's actually peak, fam. Can't even buy someone to replace the pain. Long day, man. Oh. You lot are stinking up mid-table. Mid Should have spent 700 million paying rest. Should never, couldn't score in a brothel. Mm. 
Streets are saying you're amortizing goals over eight years. Oh, oh damn. You got jokes, guys. Mitrovic is coming off. Thank thank God, Mitrovic is coming off. Um, thank God. Oh, this is just painful, people. You guys got jokes. You guys got jokes, yeah. You guys got jokes. Amortizing goals now, yeah. I got titles though, so it's all right. <laughs> oh, we are amortizing the goals. <laughs> Ball in, headed away. Shot cleared. <gasps> oh shit! I thought that was going in. Oh, I thought that was going in. Oh my days! If that had gone in, I think it would have been a wrap for me. You know, I think it would have been a wrap. I think it would have been a wrap for me, bro. If that had gone in, I think it would have been out. Of my goodness gracious. Oh, Jesus. You see if... Yeah, let me not talk about it. Let me not talk about it. Come on, man, please. How are you going to have us in a nil-nil? No goals to celebrate, nothing, you know? This is nuts. We might be rich, but I'm feeling pretty poor right now. God damn, we ain't even got a goal to celebrate. We ain't even got a goal to celebrate, you know. I'm feeling broke, fam. Money can't buy happiness, you know. I might have to, I might have to, I've got bare titles, you know. Let me, let me write this shit down, man. These titles are slapping. Money can't buy happiness, fam. <laughs> Hey, this is mad. <laughs> Help me, Father Lord. This is mad. Oh. Can't even get, we can't even get a little shit houseery. Not even a little shit houseery goal for, for, for old time's sake. Oh. I can't wait to do my review, to be honest, because it's gonna be gonna be interesting, it's gonna be funny. I'm gonna record that ASAP. Get it out. Go on, Sterling. Oh, ref, we need a free kick. Yellow card. Please, a late winner. Please, a late winner. That's all we ask for is a late winner, please, because the dust will not settle. And I know come Monday, people are gonna be asking me questions on the roundabout. Asking me questions in DR, asking me questions on Big Six. People are going to be asking me questions, man. Come on, man. Come on. I might even be on stoppage on Sunday, you know. I think I might be on stoppage time, guys. Oh, Jesus. So I'm going on a tour, fam. Man, am I going to be running up? Yeah, it's long. It's long. It's a long day, man. Ah, shit. Shit. God damn it. Gonna have to, have to go back to the drawing board on this one. Oh. Free kick. Come on, give me something. Give me something. Yes. Oh, corner, please, 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 please find something in your heart and soul to do something about this result. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, I promise. If we score this, I'll go to church on Sunday, I promise. I'll even, um, I'll even bring change. Come on. Come on. Come on, please, 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 please. Chill well. Good delivery, please. Ball in. Yes. Up. Yes. Yes. Knock down. Knock down. Knock down. Oh, my days. Come on, Sterling. Sterling, what you got? What you got for me? Sterling. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Oh, my days. Oh, my God. What was that? Oh, God. Oh, oh Jesus. It's finally over. Pain again, man. 
every time, man. I can't escape this. I can't escape this, man. Every day, every game, it's the same madness that I have to indulge. Why can't I just get one W, man, so I can just chill? What's going on? What's going on? I'm getting real sick of this. I'm getting real sick of this, man. See what that super team... I mean, listen. God, Jesus. We Here we go again, man. And I have to come in it, bro. Celebrated too early with all them signings. It ain't easy, brother. Conference League. Arsenal winning the league with Jorginho will be peak. I mean... No comment. My lawyer, my lawyer is not present. No comment, man. My lawyer is not present. I'm not speaking about my lawyer, man. Not speaking about my lawyer. Oh. oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear. Um, okay, so we just dropped points at home to Fulham. So W settings will have to start from next week. Um, definitely. The road to 40 points continues. I told you it ain't easy in these streets. Um wow. Um, how many points are we on? 30. We hit 30. We're on 30 points. What, what do you want? What do you want? How much money do you need? How much more money do you need? Um, is that a rhetorical question or can I actually answer that? You can answer that. I think around about mm, maybe 250 more. 250 more? <laughs> Are you still be shit? <laughs> I, I did I did say on Big Six that the super team wasn't ready to be super. You couldn't hear me. Bro, this is again no context. We wanna see something. Entertain us. What happened to Midrick? We're on we're on 30 points, you know, ten points off safety. Can, can, can he can he I heard I heard people are saying Midrick. Is it Midrick or is it Mudrick? Mudrick, Mudrick, Mudrick. Um, um is he injured or is he is shit up? Let's go. Um, he's 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 healthy and well. I think he had his five a day. He's fine. Apples and oranges and whatnot. Uh, but just you know, a bit, bit smelly today. A bit smelly, yeah. Today, smelly. today's um, didn't really get the ball enough, did he? It's just a little bit isolated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he, yeah he's shit, shit, it basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Money doesn't bring happiness, Chelsea fans. The money does not. I mean, that's that's the title of my video, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. But, you know, it's kind of annoying though, is that we haven't um is we haven't got anyone, we can't sign anyone after this to make ourselves feel better, which is kind of jarring. Right? You, you stuck, you stuck with this, and then you can go and say, Well, we'll bring on Fafano, we'll bring on Sterling, we'll bring on Madaway King. Chelsea are just not it, man. You need, you need, you need to go for bonding camp. You need to go. And we actually did. We went. We went to the um. Went to the army base to bond. To, to, oh my god! No, mate. But they I'm don't know. You, no, you need to go. I don't know whether these guys are braiding all their hairs and whatnot. You need to go to the barber shop. I didn't think you need a barber top shop. We 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 we, we are bonding. Right We're now. just bonding personalities wise. We haven't bonded the 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 team yet with the pitch, bro. One step oh at a time, brother. God. And you know what? Yeah, I'm not even going to bash Enzo Fernandez. 
because I think he tried and he tried to do something. That Mount and Gallagher, oh my God, mate. There's no season in that midfield, bro. There's no, there's no, you know, you, there's no sauce in there. These guys are just not it. I didn't want them starting. And, and you see, Todd Bowley on the phone, by the way. I don't know what, have you told him, by the way, that the transfer window is closed? Because he was on his phone a lot today. I don't know if you've seen that. He was on his phone very, very, you know, a lot. Yeah. That game. Yeah. He didn't did tell him. He didn't tell him, by the way. That transfer window is closed. You know well, I mean? it's, it's, it's closed, yeah. but, you know, we can still do pre-agreements, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, fucking shit. <laughs> Yo fucking shit. Uh, Yo fucking shit. Yo fucking shit. Yo fucking shit. And this weekend, you could be 12. The Galacticals in 12. Yeah. I mean, we move to the next, man. Like I said, one game at a time. One game at a time. I can't believe we didn't win that. I'm not going to lie. I will be there. And by the way, every Chelsea game that I've watched, yes. Watch yes. you have not won a game so i will carry on for the people i am the community man now. Mm. they have given me the don't worry i'll i'll be making sure to watch i'll be making sure to watch your i'll be making sure to watch your carabao cup final oh, uh, right. you know what we're gonna do we're gonna win i hope you do we're like you guys i really hope we're gonna win. i'm more than you can believe i hope so... that you win because if you don't win lord jesus i'm more... <laughs> Look, after all of this yeah you better after all of this you better make sure you better make, you better make sure, you better, brother, you, listen, you see you, yeah, you better make sure that you close, you better leave with something, because if you leave with a runners-up medal, it's a long day for you. Bro, all I did on Twitter was, la all, bro, all I did on Twitter was just free laughing emojis, and I got 72 comments in five minutes, it's long for me, fam, it's long, <laughs> All I did was laugh, bro. I haven't said nothing. I just laughed. Yo, listen. The, Man can't even laugh anymore. Man can't even do a little, little aha uh -huh, Can't even chuckle. What's going on? Why is everybody onto me? I, I, bro, I'm the one that's been trying to keep expectations down. Everybody's talking about top four, 10 game run. I said, bro, one game at a time. One game at a time. One game at a time. Let's just win Fulham first. We ain't even won back to get back games. Let's just win Fulham. Now, now everybody's onto listen, me. Why? Nobody. nobody I think it's because I, did, did you see I was in Best of Enemies today? That's, that's a terrible time to be out in. Bro, yo, listen. Yeah. And you know what's crazy about that, yeah? yeah that Nobody is... ever feels sorry for the rich because that, that. They, they, they can always spend their way out of problems. That time you in. guys will spend your way out of problems. So for now, you must suffer. That timing is a bit You peak. must suffer and you must enjoy the fruits of the consequences that you will have right now. Mm. And like I said, it's going to get worse and worse. Yeah. And just enjoy it. And I... Embrace it. You All know? Right. Yeah. Are you done here now? Yeah. Are you done? Because I know you're all enjoying this. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> You know, I don't know if I want to play some song for you, but listen. No, no, it's fine. A song for you. No. no, 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 no. I don't want copyright strike. I don't, I don't want demonetization. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't want, I don't want demon. I don't, I don't. I, hey, shut up! I don't want, I don't want to be demonetized. I don't want to be demonetized. You're gonna get demonetized. Please, chill, 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 chill. Chelsea are fucking shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do my video now. Um, over 200 million spent on Enzo Winks and Ukrainian Dan James is not looking good, bro. <sighs> Said, honestly. Hmm. Maybe I should have gone to the game, but then again, it's still an L. Yeah. Money only brings short-term happiness. Well, it's a great learning lesson for everyone today, isn't it? So we're going to speak about that in the review. Um, we've learned something about that. It's great. Um, bring that into the future. We've, um, yeah, we'll bring that into the future. Definitely a lesson well learned. Listen, one game at a time, we move. Um, I'm going to do the review now. Don't know what to say, particularly. I'm just, just going to just uh, try and piece this one together, eh? All right, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you on the video. I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Um, I'm not. Till next time, I'll see you guys. Goodbye. Perfect.